Hello everyone and welcome to a little better Minecraft long play video. In this video, I'm going to have minimal to no editing and we're just going to sit here and hang out together. So this is a great video for you to play in the background while maybe you're playing Minecraft or you're doing some other kind of task. Or maybe you just need a little bit of company while you're going to sleep or just something like that. That is the purpose of this video. And I'm also playing on easy difficulty just because in Better Minecraft, there are a lot of things that are out to get you. And I'm here for a good time and not to be scared and stressed. So I think that pretty much wraps up all the little things I needed to say. So let's go ahead and start playing in this world. I just loaded up a completely random seed here. And so far, this is a pretty cool, cool spawn, I think. We have a little house over here, so we'll definitely check that out. A little well, it looks like. I think these are some fir trees. And then these little mushrooms are a little bit evil, so we'll probably stay clear of that. And then we just have this floating piece of land, which is interesting. Lots of pumpkins, that's super cool. But I do want to check out this house over here. I think that these houses have lots of good loot in them, if I'm not mistaken. So let's just take a peek. We do have a bed, the good place. Yep, this is what I thought. Um, it's just a little house that has food and I think it can have diamonds even, if I'm not mistaken. So we'll definitely take the food, lots of fish. One thing that's really cool about the Better Minecraft mod pack is it has a mod within it that you can fish and like the fishing is so cool. Obviously you can fish in vanilla. Oh, a diamond, perfect, and a saddle, so fun. But obviously you can fish in vanilla Minecraft, but within this Better Minecraft mod pack and that little fishing mod, it's so cool because the fishing is so in depth. So I don't know, I just think it's really cool. Um, I don't know if I want anything else in this house. Obviously there are bookshelves. Maybe I will take the bookshelves actually. I feel like I typically don't take things inside of houses because I feel kind of bad doing so, but I've kind of learned my lesson, especially since I've played hardcore now, that you just need to take all the resources that you can find. Look at the little snails. They're so cute. I love the snails inside of Better Minecraft, but I'm just going to chop a tree first so that we can get those starter tools. I think that would probably be very helpful. And then I do want to get those books, I think, so that maybe we can decorate our starter house with some little bookshelves. I think that would be really cute. So we'll just chop the tree. Oh, I literally forget this every single time that I play Better Minecraft, but uh, it's a little bit easier to chop trees inside of modern Minecraft typically. I always forget that for some reason. So we'll make ourselves a wooden pickaxe. And then I probably will just start off with stone tools. I typically never do like a full set of wooden tools. I just don't see the point in it, honestly. So maybe we'll go down here and get the stone. And I'll get enough stone for a full set of stone tools. And there we go, that little advancement, Stone Age. Perfect. I do have a little plan for, ooh, coal. I will definitely take that. But I do have a plan for the starter house that I wanna do. It's just gonna be a cute little cottage starter house. I don't wanna be too ambitious with it because gathering resources um, while you're commentating is not the most fun thing. I feel like gathering resources I typically always do like off screen because it's just boring. Um, and then with this style of let's play, uh, we don't really have the luxury of doing things off camera. Of course, we're going to do everything here together. Uh, so I'm thinking that I'll just keep it simple and not do anything too ambitious. Because Minecraft is kind of a grindy game, isn't it? Especially if you are planning big builds and um, building very large things. It definitely uh, takes a second to be able to do all of that stuff. So we'll just keep it nice and simple here. And frankly, I like keeping things nice and simple. So that is totally a-okay with me. Uh, we do have a map, which is really cool. Oh, and I think this is the well. And then this is, oh, we have a village? 
cool. We'll definitely check out the village. Let's see what else we have. A little snowy biome. Forest, it looks like. There's some little red trees over here. Um, another little mountain. Cool. Um, I think this is a pretty good spawn so far, honestly. Carrot carp is what this little fish in my hand is. That's so funny. I've never seen a carrot carp before. It does look like a carrot. So, uh, that's probably enough stone to get us started. So we'll do a stone axe. Um, stone pickaxe. This inventory is already so messy. Uh, we'll do a sword. Let me just clean it up a little bit, I think. Um, and then also we'll need a shovel. And I guess I'll go ahead. Maybe I won't do a hoe. Uh, maybe we'll wait until we actually get more of a base. I have an axe. What am I doing? And then I'll take these bookshelves, of course. That is the whole reason that I even... Obviously, I need my, the tools anyways, but that's the reason I did it right away is because I need these books. All right. I think that is all I want to do with this little house, though it is so cool. and I, I love those houses. Ooh, uh, lots of creepers, uh, a zombie. And then these wells jump. So these wells, um, they will give you a random, uh, what is it called? Random effect. And if you jump inside of them, sometimes it can be good, sometimes it can be bad. But, you know, we're here to have fun. So may maybe we'll just go ahead and jump in and see what happens. But I do need a little bit of dirt so that I can get myself out of the hole once I am down in there. So I will get some dirt. What are these? Wild onions. I mean, I don't really want onions, I don't think. I would rather like potatoes and carrots, though I'm sure you could just eat plain onions. Ooh, some iron. I'll probably get that. And I know that a zombie is following me, but it'll be okay. I think. I think it'll be fine, right? Right? I'm not so confident anymore. That's gonna be okay. Anyways, I got resistance. So maybe that will be good if the zombie does actually come over here. I do think he died though. Um, but I do want to get the iron. So we'll go ahead and go down there and get it. Maybe I'll make myself a little staircase. So that we can be extra careful and get up easily if we have to run away. Which we might have to since there is a zombie here. I guess we'll go ahead and take him out. Again, I'm on easy. So like, I've never actually played Minecraft on easy difficulty before, ever, ever. I typically play on hard, but I feel like playing on easy is kind of fun, right? You just like chill and play Minecraft. You don't have to really worry about much. Definitely let me know what difficulty you typically play on. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of these grape seeds. But do you play on easy? Do you play on hard? normal are you just like a hardcore kind of person that you just really play on hardcore mode and nothing else definitely let me know i'd be interested to see Ooh, bedrock why is there bedrock right there see if you look in the up uh, the top left corner bedrock can't break i have no idea why there would be bedrock down there though or up there that doesn't make any sense to me honestly but i am going to just gather as many little resources as we can while we are here and there's still more bedrock that's so weird isn't it do you think it's because it's below oh it's probably because it's below the uh the well so there's just a bunch of bedrock below it interesting um that one looks hard to get so i don't think i'm gonna get that one because you know i'm just a wee bit lazy uh i guess i will check out this village though because it's over here, might as well. And then I guess from there, we'll probably just find a place to settle down and base. Sounds like a great time. But hopefully this village has something for us and maybe we can base kind of close to the village. I think that'd be pretty cool. Ooh, there's a little house down here. It seems to be pretty spread out for sure. But maybe we'll be able to find ourselves some crops Ooh, a little kitty, a black cat. Fun. And the villagers in Better Minecraft have guards. I think typically. I don't know if they always do, but I think typically they have guards, which is really cool. Uh, so it's not just the iron golems protecting the village. But I'm just going to check inside of all of the houses and see if we can find any loot. 
Anything good? Ooh, this one's a blacksmith. Iron. Ooh, and some armor. That's so cool. Okay, my pockets are getting very full. I already have a helmet, so I guess I better put that on. We almost, we literally, we literally have a full set of iron armor. That's crazy. And we haven't done barely anything. And an iron pickaxe. Definitely some food. I'll take that. I do want the gold. Maybe I'll put away the seeds. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. This is so cool. Very, very good start. Uh, I do think that I want to sleep inside of a villager's house just so that I can set my spawn there, you know? So we have our spawn set somewhere. Here's another chest with lots of bread. Some potatoes. We definitely want those potatoes. I am so running out of space. I might just get rid of some of these random fish. I don't think they're really going to benefit us too much. Uh, I'll eat the cooked cod. And then grab these tomato seeds. Okay, cool. Crops of the wild. Is that supposed to be like a Breath of the Wild reference? Oh, and this waystone. We'll definitely get that. This village is called Zaxokito. Definitely not how you say that, I'm sure. Uh, but there we go. That's the name of the village. But was that a Breath of the Wild reference? That's actually so cool. I have been playing Tears of the Kingdom a lot. Let me know. Have you been playing Tears of the Kingdom? Uh, I've been loving it very much so. I actually did stream it one time. If you are interested in catching any of my streams, then be sure to follow me over on Twitch. It's just SparkleEggYT if you want to follow me over there and you can catch my streams. I don't stream that often, but like if I'm feeling like it, then I'll just stream. Uh, it's probably the worst way to stream because you're supposed to have schedules and all that but it just that doesn't work for me maybe i'll be able to get there one day hopefully but um i'm not too much of a schedule person i feel like i'm just not very good at it okay we have some emeralds maybe i'll put away the sticks and then look at this random villager out here i mean he is a fisher so you know maybe he's doing some fishing out in the river but I do want to check out this little build here and then we'll probably go from there and find some place to base. I would like to find some kind of cool block, not just van vanilla blocks. I want to find some kind of cool modded block. Oh, here's the house to use in our build. This is a very, very simple little house. Honestly, I'm not even sure if this is technically part of the village. I think these houses can kind of just be scattered around. Um, I don't think, don't think they are affiliated with villages necessarily. Okay, but we'll go up here. Oh, there's a moo bloom. If you look on the mini map in the top right corner, you can see a little moo bloom on the mini map. That's so fun. We're getting close to this mushroom. So we just got to make sure that we steer clear of that. Let's check out this map. See, here's the moo bloom right there. Oh, there's a ship. That's fun. I don't think I really want to stay in a plains biome. I'm not feeling a plains biome though. The snow, that's really cool. And there's a Colosseum too. I think that's a Colosseum right there. I'm feeling a forest. So maybe we'll actually, I wanna check out this area. It's kind of just like a random forest in the middle of the plains. So maybe we'll go back across the river. Oh, it's the, it's the fir forest or is that fir or is that Mm, pine something it's one of those kinds of trees so we could stay there that's not a bad idea or we could check out north which i don't mind that idea either so maybe we'll check out north first and see if i like those forests better i just like basing in forests because if you base in a plains then you kind of have to create your own pretty scenery because i feel like having just a build inside of a plains biome and see i'm thinking about thumbnails here if i were to just place a build in a plains then there's no like trees in the background it's gonna look so flat and boring um i'm trying to go across without actually having to like go across the river but i guess that's not really gonna be able to happen too much 
But that's why I like to base inside of forests. And just, you know, not just thumbnails, obviously. I think they are a lot prettier than plains biomes. Plains biomes definitely serve their purpose and they're great. Uh, if you have a very specific uh, base in mind, because you can completely transform the plains. You don't have to worry about trees being in your way. But for our purposes today, we are going for a little... Um, a little forest base, I think. There's a lot of coal here. I don't think I'll mine it all. Just because the inventory is getting pretty full. But what if there's iron? That'd be pretty cool. But I will take this one and then maybe just like do a little peek. I don't think this is a proper cave system. But I do want to just do a little peek. I mean, maybe it is. Actually. Actually, I think it is. Okay, that's cool. A proper cave system will probably have to do some kind of caving, I think. We do have 12 pieces of iron, so that's a pretty good start. But I feel like we'll need a little bit more. And getting iron tools will be so much better than having just stone tools. So maybe we'll try to make that a goal. I think there's another well over there. I don't think it's one of those that you fall down inside of. And you get an effect. I think it's just a well. But we will check it out. This seems to just be a typical play or a typical forest biome. Yep. Just a... Oh, it has some iron down in there though. I will take that. But yes, this is just a pretty simple little forest. Just like a vanilla forest. But there's the... Oh, there's another Colosseum over there. Um, ooh, I know I said I didn't want a plains, but look how pretty that is. I actually love that. I might check it out. It just, I like the colors. They are speaking to me. And it's just so little, you know, it's just like a little pocket. And there it looks like there's, um, some forest surrounding it and then some mountain behind it. If it's kind of flat, then that might be the place, honestly. I just want to have a nice backdrop, you know? I just like to have some kind of base with a pretty backdrop. I see some little witches on the mini map, but I think they are technically underground. So I don't think we'll have to worry about that. Ooh, there's some little foxes too on the mini map. So cute. Let's see about this little, maybe it's a meadow. It kind of seems like it would maybe be a meadow, but let's see. Right up here. Hemlock tree, a meadow, it's definitely a meadow. That is what the biome says it is. There's some little cave systems, lots of flowers around here. So many flowers, what is that? It looks like some kind of outpost, doesn't it? Ooh, I mean, it's very holy. As in, there are lots of holes everywhere. So if it was a little bit more flat, then I would probably like it a little bit more, but... Ooh, some emeralds. Ooh, I hear a zombie. I don't know where he's coming from. Maybe down here? I'm not sure, but I do want this iron. And I will get those emeralds. We also have an iron pickaxe. So we can mine the emeralds. But I don't know about this little meadow. It's a cool idea. However... You know, it's it's a little bit not flat. And I don't know if it would be the best place to base currently. We only have 32 pieces of coal. Maybe I'll gather a little bit more. It's not really enough for me. I'd rather get a little bit more so that we can actually smelt the things that we need to smelt. If I don't have to like go back and forth between caves in my base and caves in my base again and again, then I would definitely like that. The worst part about building is whenever you haven't collected all of your materials and you have to keep on going back to gather more materials. I definitely don't want to have to do that. I will take the emerald. Thank you. So many little mobs around. 
Ooh, a bird. So cute. I have been meaning to do things with birds in Better Minecraft for so long now, and I just haven't gone around to it. But I want to make some kind of aviary or bird sanctuary or something like that. I just haven't done it yet. But doesn't that sound so cool? And there's also butterflies in Better Minecraft too. So I feel like it'd be so cool to have, you know, the fountain room in the museum in Animal Crossing? Um, and there's that fountain there. Uh, I kind of want to do something like that. Maybe not a fountain, but I don't know. That kind of vibe with butterflies everywhere uh, in Better Minecraft. I think that'd be really, really cool. But again, I just haven't gone around to it. All right, any more, any more iron just peeking around? I don't think so. I do want to check out the meadow again just a little bit. See, ooh, there's more iron. So much iron. That's so good. But I do want to peek around just a little bit more around the meadow and see if we can find maybe a good place to base. Because it sounds so cool. I love meadows in Minecraft. I think they're so pretty. This is a very large coal vein. But I will be so happy that I collected it all whenever I actually settle down. But I do need to also get rid of something. What do I want to get rid of? Hmm... A flint knife? Maybe I'll get rid of that. I honestly don't see myself really using that. You can make a, a knife pretty easily, and I would rather get a better knife. I think a flint knife is probably the worst one that you can get. All right, let's check out this meadow. This color of grass, it's so vibrant. It's almost teal in a way, I think. Hmm, I mean, we could definitely make it work. Like, imagine a house right here. I think that would be really cute. Just one stop right here. Maybe with the forest and then the trees behind with all the snow. I think that could be cute possibly. We will go ahead and go to sleep though. Oh, there's a zombie. Do you see him? He's right there. Hopefully we can sleep in time. Oh, oh gosh. Scares me so bad. <sighs> okay, I don't want this. I think so. He was just coming for me. Oh, look at all the birds. So cute. Uh, a feather? Maybe the bird just dropped the feather, you know, and he didn't actually, nothing happened to him, maybe. I'm just kind of looking around and seeing if there's anything better. Oh, there's another village over this way. This looks like a pillager village, but maybe it's not. The reason I say that is because of the purple tents. There's another meadow here with some moo blooms on it. Which is always tempting. The moo blooms. I just, I want those in the game. I love the moo blooms. I think they're so cute. Wouldn't that be so fun? All right, I think the meadow is over this way. And then this is the village. Oh, that's just like a lookout within the village. But it's not, you know, just like an, an outpost or anything. But I think that I might base over here. What do we think? I don't think it's a bad option, honestly. Part of me does want to check out this area up here. Oh, look at that, like flower, flower plains or whatever. And then all of this, hmm, it is kind of far away though. Hmm, what if, no, that wouldn't work. I was gonna say, what if we teleport to the village or, uh, like get the waystone in the village so then we could teleport over there if we needed to but we kind of need a waystone in order to teleport to the village so i do think i want to check out over here because what if it's the perfect place what if we love it so much and i didn't go over there because i just wanted to settle and then we miss our opportunity to have the perfect base so we will just go over this way and I will check it out. I don't want to accidentally pass up an opportunity to have the perfect base. But are you all excited for 1.20? 
I don't know when this video is going to go up. So this video might go up once 1.20 has already released. But we have a release date, June 7th, which is very exciting. It is May 28th today, the day that I am recording this. But again, I don't know when this will go up. There's the Coliseum over that way. We don't want to go over there. I haven't really explored the Coliseums. Oh, I'm just falling. <laughs> I am just falling. Um, yeah, I haven't explored the Coliseums, but maybe I will at some point. But I am very excited for 1.20. I haven't really planned anything for it, honestly. I probably should. But I haven't yet. Um, of course, I would love to base. Ooh. Whoa. Canadian shield. There's these hydrangea hedges. And these little hydrangea bushes. So cute. It's like the smallest little biome ever. It's just this, I think. Wow, so cute. Cool, cool. Well, obviously, we don't really want to base just there. Oh, and there's this overgrown stone. That looks really, really cool. Some more of these hydrangea bushes. We'll definitely have to put those in our base for sure, for sure. Twilight Meadow. Okay, that's what this little biome is, I think. But I think that we are finding some really cool things. I am glad that I came over here for sure. Because this is so cool. Silver maple leaf and a maple log. Interesting. I kind of want to build with a fun color, maybe. Um, ooh, I do like this, though. This is cool. I like the color of the grass. It just feels cozy over here. And I like the shapes of the trees. Fun, fun. Ooh, over here, Coco Nino Meadow. This is kind of cool too. A Coco Nino Meadow, an Alpine Bellflower. Ooh, there is a windmill. We don't like the windmills. They are a bit evil. So maybe we won't base here because of the windmill. We don't love that. Though this is really cool. Hmm, so many options for good bases. Yeah, I definitely like this. I think I like it better than the one that we were over in earlier. It's just, I love the color of the grass, honestly. And this just feels like dark and cozy, you know? But another option could be like, maybe not over here. This looks like it has lots of uneven terrain, but maybe over there. <laughs> that means though I would have to go across the river, which is a little bit of a pain. But do we do it anyways? Maybe we do. We'll, we'll go, we'll go. And then we will head back to this area if I don't like that area. There's just always so much to explore in Better Minecraft. Ooh, look at that little, um, I don't even know what to call it. That little cave system coming out of the mountain. It's like a perfect rectangle. Anyways, I'm not finishing any of my thoughts. I keep on getting distracted. We were talking about 1.20. Obviously, I would like to base inside of a cherry cherry grove biome. Oh, look, there's a uh, villager outpost. Wow, he's just like tucked in to the mountain. But cherry grove, is that, what, is that what it is called? I'm not sure, honestly. I think that would be really cool. Though, I do think that having... Or basing in a cherry grove and then building with the cherry wood could be a bit overwhelming. That's a lot of pink. Having pink leaves everywhere and then pink builds everywhere. I do think that that, is, that could potentially get a little bit overwhelming. So, I don't know. Maybe I won't actually. I feel like, hmm, I don't know. I typically will base in forests, so part of me doesn't want to base inside of a forest. But also, part of me does want to, because you can never go wrong with basing in a cute little forest. Um, I also, before they announced the cherry grow biome, I was thinking that I would base in a desert, because of, of course, all of the fun desert things. But then, you know, they announced the Cherry Grove and I was like, there's no way I can just base in a desert. I just feel like if I base in a desert, I would be 
Oh, yeah. Chicken is spinning around in a circle on top of the moss carpet. He's having a great time. But I just feel like if I base inside of a desert, I would get so sick of it eventually. And I want to love my base because I want to be in that world for a really long time. Okay, what do we think about this area? Coco Nino Meadow, it's still the same biome, but it's definitely a different vibe for sure because we have, uh, I guess this is just a river technically, but we do have this like tropical area, which is kind of fun. Um, some little ducks. I think this is a pillager base with all the purple. So that is a little bit spooky, but... I kind of like it, you know, right here in the water. I do love a good base on the water. I just think there's so much potential to add things along the water, like docks and things like that. Oh, a little forest fire, of course. Uh, I think that's a bridge over that way. What do we think? I mean, I kind of like it, honestly. I kind of like it. We have the taiga behind us. Uh, and then... I think that's another house that we went to right at the beginning, uh, the good place house or whatever. And then there's even like this little island, the tiniest little island there that we do have pillagers right next door. So that is something that we would have to consider if we decided to base here. I don't think they would really become an issue, honestly, but you know, it's a thing. They are there. And I think this is a prairie I think that's what that biome is, and it's just full of grass. Very, very long grass. It kind of looks like wheat, but I don't think it's wheat. It's just some kind of grass. But this little beach is fun, and we have a little ocean. The prairie, of course, which is kind of fun, too. Uh, and then some kind of flower plains again. I think I'm going to base here. I think this is the place. So we'll go ahead and set down our stuff here. And probably start collecting some materials for our starter house. And maybe we can find a cool color of wood. Preferably wood. But, I mean, if we have to settle with a different kind of block, then that's definitely fine too. And there's a little wolf over here. Look at him. Does he have, like, orange colored eyes? Kind of, yeah. He definitely looks very wolf-like. Ooh, and we have snails. We definitely have to base here. The snails are always so cute. So we will set down our crafting table, our bed, and set our spawn. Um, I will make a chest. And we can start to place things inside of ch the chest. I also want to make a furnace so we can go ahead and start cooking up this iron. We have 27 pieces, that's so good. That is really good. And then what else? Just dump a bunch of stuff. We'll cook this. We'll probably use this as food in the beginning. I want this out so that we can start to make a little crop field. Um, carrot carp, it's just honestly taking out my inventory i wonder if we can cook it as well and just eat it real fast so it's not taking up our inventory um we'll put the iron in all of these things in minced beef i know that we can probably cook things with that okay now we need to make a little hoe so that we can start this plant this planting, we'll probably just put it over by the river, I think. Just keep it nice and simple right now and just put it over this way. So we, of course, have our little potatoes. So we have nine of those. That's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I will sleep because we don't want anything to spawn. None of that I have. <laughs> recently played hardcore you may or may not have watched my little hardcore uh 100 days of hardcore i was just gonna do like a little mini series so that i could have something in between um 1.20 just you know an extra little series out there and it did not go well i was having so much fun with it 
and I did end up dying so early on. That's why I just didn't ever want to actually commit to doing hardcore because, you know, I'm just, it's, it's not for me. Okay. I don't think it's for me. I was stressed the whole time. I was having fun, but everything scared me. And then also having the 100 days thing definitely made me rush things because I was like, oh crap, I have to do everything within a hundred days. Like I, w I ended up deciding to fight the dragon, which was probably my downfall. I probably shouldn't have decided to fight the dragon. Um, I didn't die via the dragon. I dra died in the nether, but it made me rush. You know, I, typically if I were playing in hardcore without a time limit, then I would take my time and I wouldn't go to the nether unless... I had fully enchanted diamond armor and like a really good bow, lots of food, you know, just I wouldn't have rushed it, but because I had that time limit, I did rush it and I regret it so much because I was having so much fun. I really, really was. Uh, and then I kind of just ruined it for myself. And going back and watching that footage of me dying is, I hate watching it because there what did I just kill? I just stepped on something and it gave me experience. I hope it wasn't a snail. I really hope it wasn't a snail. That's so sad. Oh my goodness. Anyways. Oh my gosh. I didn't mean to place that there. Um, what was I talking about? Me maybe killing that snail distracted me. I do want to make a little campfire so I can start to cook some food. Um, we'll cook this raw mut raw mutton chop. Anyways, I was talking about hardcore and honestly, I, I can't tell you what I was specifically saying. Some kind of hardcore or something. Anyways. Oh, maybe the footage. Yeah, what okay, that's what I was saying. Watching back the footage. Oh cow is getting hurt let me break that for you there you go uh watching about the footage there are things i could have done in order i it literally looks i walk looks like i walked into danger and i guess i quite literally did walk into danger and there there's just so many ways that i could have saved myself and whenever i was actually in that moment i was panicking and i couldn't see a way out of it so, you know, I just walked into danger and I, I just, I died. I couldn't handle it. Uh, the stress got to me. So I don't know if I'll be playing hardcore for a while longer. It was just overall a very stressful experience. And I don't know if it was worth it, honestly. I think it was worth it. It was a great experience, I guess. But, you know, again, it was very stressful. But I... I've gathered a lot of wood so far. I'll probably use spruce because, you know, spruce just goes with literally everything. Um, but I do need other wood. Probably oak. I feel like that would be a good wood to use. I'm just going to look for some trees. Like, do we have any cool trees around? I feel like we don't. There are literally two coliseums right beside of each other right there. Wow. That's a fun time. Um, I could see what this maple log looks like. I can do that. And maybe we can utilize it. Because whenever I play modern Minecraft, I don't want to make vanilla builds, you know? Like, there's nothing wrong with making a vanilla build. But, like, I would like to utilize... Oops. I think that if you crouch, then you don't have to tear down the whole tree. That's what I was trying to do. But then I held my crouch button uh and i have crouch toggle on so overall that did not work what i was trying to do but anyways i do i would like to use some kind of modded block since we are in modded minecraft but let's check out this maple plank hmm what do we think about it it looks like it reminds me of some kind of fisherman's like rusty not rusty uh like some, it looks like a floorboard, like some kind of old floorboard, right? Maybe we can use it as our floor. I don't know if we'll actually use it as an actual building block. 
it's very busy. So maybe we won't use that, but it is kind of cool. And then of course we have spruce. So I'll go ahead and place that down just so we can kind of compare blocks. What else do we have around us? We have oak, of course. I think this is an oak tree actually. Yep, just a very, very large oak tree. Uh, what else? What else can we build with? We might just be stuck with like oak. I mean, there's birch over there. So we might be stuck with like oak, birch, spruce. There's, that's another maple log. I mean, I guess we might have to do what we got to do, you know? And we might be stuck with just using vanilla blocks. I don't really want to use that maple block, I don't think. I think I would like to use something different. Hmm, but I really, really want like a colored block of some sort for the roof. I would like the roof to be colored and not that color, I don't think. Okay, well, I will definitely use oak. Let me go ahead and first of all, get my food before I forget it. We'll cook this beef. See if we can cook the carrot carp. Oh, we can, cool. And then I need to make myself a um, an ax. Actually, I'm not going to make a iron axe because it's not like it's going to be faster for us. The only thing it would benefit for us is the durability of it, and I can use stone for that. Our iron is precious right now. Okay, I don't want to chop down those big oak trees because they're so pretty. So maybe we'll go over here to get some oak. Check the sun, make sure that um, it's not going to be nighttime. Our lava pool right over here that burned down some of the forest. I guess I should take the sugar cane. I don't think we have sugar cane yet. Ooh, and we'll go across the little bridge. So cute. I feel like it's very rare that the bridges are actually helpful in these modded worlds because sometimes they'll just be random bridges that like literally aren't even joining two pieces of land, but those are, so that's cool. But I'm just going to chop down lots of oak trees. This will definitely make my resource gathering grind a lot easier. Gathering the, um, the trees with this little like chop down trick. Definitely makes things a lot easier. Can't chop down that tree because there is a bee there. But I guess we'll probably do like, I'm thinking oak as the walls and spruce as um, maybe like the trim of the roof. And then I was thinking about again, doing something colorful as the actual roof, but that might not be able to happen. So honestly, we could just do birch maybe. We might have to look at the little deer thing. They make funny noises. Let's see if I can get him to make a funny noise. Come here. See? See? They make funny noises. Okay, sorry. I won't bother you anymore. But maybe I'll do birch as the roof. Typically, we'll never go for that. But like, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So maybe we'll do a bit of birch. I'm also... I don't think I'm going to get rid of all those leaves. I just couldn't be bothered, honestly. I'll just leave them. There is also this village over here. Ooh, and an, oh, is that a village? Oh, that is so unfortunate. I think that's a village. And then that's a windmill, AKA like pillagers and zombie farmers and just like so many evil things like that is that is sad um unfortunate for those villagers they are not going to last long at all frankly i wouldn't be able to last that long up there so the villagers definitely won't last long either poor poor villagers sad day for them but there is another village over this way and it looks like a meadow village oh and then it's beside of we've seen this village uh, we haven't been to it, but we saw it. It's right across from this little area. And there is that pillager camp right beside of it too. So I wonder how long those villagers will last. 
I'm not sure. Oh, there's the bridge. Hmm, how much do I have? Ooh, I have a stack plus some more of oak. That's pretty good. A good start so far. Maybe I will keep on chopping down until all of my axes break. And then we'll go back. Hopefully we can do that before the sun sets. So let me speed up this process a little bit. And just do so as quickly as we can. Okay, there's one axe. We'll just keep on going. The frame rate, whenever the leaves are falling, it gets really, really bad. But it just be like that. It just be like that. We can't do anything about it. So, I mean, maybe we could, but uh, it beats me. I don't know what to do about it. Okay, okay. Keep on going, keep on going. What does easy mode even mean? Like, what does it actually entail? Obviously, it's easier, I assume, I would hope. But, like, what does it actually fully entail? Like, for example, I know in, like, hard, that is the way to get zombie villagers and get them, like, 100% rate of turning to zombie villagers. It's fully nighttime now. I've accepted it. It's okay. We'll be fine. Um, but, like, so I know that there's other perks of it. It's not just, like... Oh, I did chop down that tree. Oh no, I didn't mean to. I'm being too speedy. I didn't even realize that I chopped down their home. They just have a floating home now. It's okay. Yeah, but I should probably look into that and see what that fully entails. Okay, that's all. That's all. We have broken our axes. We will go ahead and head back to our base now. Our tiny little base. Hopefully there are no mobs over there, except I definitely think there are mobs over there. There's a zombie there. There's a zombie there. Oh, there's so many spiders. Okay, maybe, maybe this was a terrible idea, actually. There's this zombie. But we're on easy, so we should be able to manage, right? And we have a full set of iron armor. Right? So it should be fine. I do need to get myself a shield probably. Oh my gosh, all the zombies. So many zombies. Sorry, this was supposed to be very relaxing. And I do mean for it to be very relaxing. But you know, you, we just gotta kill a few mobs. But you know, we're good. Look at our hearts. like. It's totally fine. We are doing great. I do see a little skeleton on the mini map. And I feel like uh, the dogs are chasing it. Let's check it out. Yes, look at him. <laughs> hey, don't get me. Get him, dog. You got it. Good boy. You're a good boy, aren't you? Uh, maybe we can make him our friend. Here, do you want this one bone? This one bone. You can do it. I'm going to get rid of that of grass oh no so sad that's okay that'd be so cool though if we could befriend him based off of just that oh dark oak log just a sing singular dark oak log and these are just regular oak leaves so we can't get any saplings from those okay well we have a pretty good start i think i need some more spruce for sure but Overall, I am happy with what we were able to gather. Maybe we will plant these shuriken over here by the river. I don't actually know if I'm going to be playing this series for longer than this video. Definitely let me know if you want to see the series longer than just this video. If you want me, if you want me to make it a little mini series. At least at this point in time, I just plan on making one video, I think. Um, but if you all want me to continue making more and continue this one video, if that makes sense, then I can definitely do that. But I don't know. I think that just having like an occasional little long play, just making a cute little starter house is fun. I think it's a lot of fun. Um, and honestly... I feel like the most fun part of Minecraft is the start of it. 
whenever you are struggling, <laughs> it's just more fun. Um, once you get to that point where you have like really good tools and weapons um, and armor and, you know, lots of farms and stuff like that, then it just starts to get not boring, but, you know, you don't really have any motivations. You have to create your own motivations, your own goals. So and if you're not a builder, then what what is what is keeping you going? You know, I feel like um, obvious. Ooh, there's a cobweb over there. Hmm, what is this? It is a mine shaft. That's so cool, and it will keep on going down, and that will be really cool. We'll definitely check that out. Actually, it doesn't seem very abandoned. Usually, this ladder is like all broken up and stuff, but it looks like fully intact. That's really really cool. We'll definitely keep that in mind. It's right over here where this white is. So we will keep that in mind. Okay, cool. I love that. But anyways, what I was trying to say is if you're not a builder and you've already, you know, fought the dragon, like whatever, gotten all the tools and weapons, then like what is motivating you to continue in your world? You know what I mean? I don't know if that makes any sense. It makes sense in my brain, but I don't know if that makes sense, me trying to explain it. Okay, I think this will be our last little block that we can break. Yep. Yep. Okay, I'm just going to leave all those leaves because I cannot be bothered to pick them up or break them all, honestly. Though I think that you can get, like, suffocation damage in the leaves, so that's a little bit concerning, so hopefully the cows will be okay. Hopefully, but I think I want to place the house like maybe here ish. I mean, it's so open. I don't even have to like, clear out any land. It's honestly perfect. Ooh, spider eye. We'll place that back. And I'm I'm sorry that this build is going to be so basic. That was not my intention at all. But like here we are with a very basic build, I think. Um. I'm just using all vanilla blocks, but it just, it just, that's how it happened. If I had a really cool block to use, I would for sure use that really cool block. But I don't really want to explore forever right now. I want to get my, get my house in, you know? So let's maybe make a little blueprint right now for our little house. Um... Those little snails making their little snail noises, so cute. So I want to, again, this is gonna be simple. We're not gonna do anything crazy at all. But let me just like clear out some of these little grassies. So place this here and we'll have those bits popping out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, maybe. Hmm, maybe I'll shorten it just a little bit actually. Oh yeah, I don't have an ax. Let me go ahead and make another one. Ooh, I want to make a, a stone ax. There we go. So that was 11, so this is 10, nine, eight, and then this will be nine and then one two three four five six seven i think that's seven like that and then i want to have this a front part coming out here so something kind of like that so two three four five six seven you know and then we'll just continue continue it all the way over here and just connect the dots okay kind of Again, I know it's very simple, but like, I think it'll work. I think it'll be cute. 
Um, I am considering maybe instead of doing a spruce trim and a birch roof, having, um, having a cobblestone trim instead. So what I'm actually going to do is make some torches. Ooh, I sorted uh, my inventory. I forgot that you could do that. So torches and then shield. You know, cause we're about to go down in the scary. Um, I do think I need more food <laughs> probably. How are the potatoes doing? Uh, they are potatoing, but not enough. I do have a little bit of bread and I do have a little bit of potatoes. So I guess I'll go ahead and bake these potatoes because, you know, desperate times call for desperate measures. And then I do have apples. Like we have some things to keep us afloat. Minced beef. Oh, yeah. That is full of potatoes, but maybe we can cook the minced beef. And so we'll just have a variety of foods. And then I should probably just like, you know, put all this wood away. I don't need it in my inventory while I go to the abandoned mine shaft. Probably don't need that iron either. I just want to go down there to look. Take a little peek around. And then also um, get some little wood no stone get some stone i saw a baked potato sorry and it distracted me i love baked potatoes in real life it was like a loaded baked potato did you see it it was a recipe let me just search potato potato this stuffed potato you need meat a beef patty will our minced beef turn into a beef patty and then some milk wait that'd be so cool are these beef patties <gasps> okay Let's, let's do this. We are going to make a little, um, first, okay, let me slow down. We need a bucket of milk. There we go. Because we're going to make cute little, um, cute little stuffed potatoes. And I'm going to take this sand because I'm gonna make some bottles. Sorry, this is a total detour, complete detour. I was not planning on making stuffed potatoes, but I saw them and they're too precious and we have to make them. Okay, sand, because then we can take the milk bucket and turn it into milk bottles, I think. That's how that works. And then that way we don't have to milk the cow like a thousand times. I think that's how that will work. So, cows, where are you? Hello? Thank you. Yep, and then see in the top right corner, we can make milk bottles now. And that will be perfect. I gotta be careful about jumping around snails because yeah, I'm pretty sure I did step on that snail, so hopefully not. Okay, here we go. We can make the bottle and then do we just do it like this? How does that work? Uh, maybe I'd look it up. Milk bottle. We need four. Okay. Let's sleep first. Oh my gosh, there's a mug. It's so cute. It's so cute. I think that you can make coffee, but you actually need nether wart to make coffee. And you know, we don't have nether wart. All right. Now we can make ourselves four milk bottles and I think that we have everything we need for the potato oh perfect four stuffed potatoes and we can make a little bit more if we get a little bit more milk I think so we'll milk the cow again wait I have to be so careful about jumping around the snails so we will milk this cow hello cow I am back for your milk there you go. Oh, wait. There we go. I don't know how uh, good these stuffed potatoes are actually going to be, but we had that minced beef. It was literally perfect. There was no way that we could do it. Go without uh, making these cute little 
stuffed potatoes. So four milk bottles, potato. Yay, now we can make two more. We have plenty of food, I think. This should, this should be fine. So let me just dump the rest of the stuff that we don't need. Okay, I think we're good, right? That is perfect. We will um, just plant a little bit more sugar cane. I'm going to eat the bread first. And then we'll go down to the abandoned mine shaft. And it's just a fun way to get, um, to get cobblestone. So technically, do we actually need to go down here? Probably shouldn't, but we're going to do it anyways. Because I think it's fun. And it looks so intact. So it just, I just want to check it out. Okay. We'll go down the ladder. It has like a cute little ladder. There's like some moss down there. That's cool. Nice and slow down the ladder. And look, you can see my person uh, going down the ladder. But maybe we'll find some cool stuff down here. Ooh, okay, very dark. Very dark and spooky. Let's get the torches. There we go. Okay. I think this is a lush cave. That's so cool that there's a lush cave in here. Uh, some diorite iron. Don't mind if I do. Ooh, some lapis. That's so cool. I mean, I guess we are all the way down to Y7. So pretty far down. Just hopefully a creeper doesn't fall on top of us or something. See what's in this chest. Oh my goodness, so much stuff. We have pumpkin seeds. I'll take the beetroot seeds. I'm going to be very choosy about what I get. A bomb. I want that because it sounds cool. A skillet. And I have been... Oh, axolotl. Hello. Oh my goodness, so cute. Okay. Uh, anyways. I have been watching. Um, honestly, do I need any of this stuff right now? Probably not, but I guess I'll get it. I guess I I won't be too picky. But I, anyways, I've been watching New Life, and I've seen that Fwip has a skillet and he uses it as a weapon. So you can actually use those skillets as weapons. Isn't that so cool? I think it's really really cool. Um, we'll get rope. I guess we'll just get these seeds. Might as well. I feel like I should get the rails, so we'll get the rails too. Uh, oh my gosh, so many chests down here. Oh, he scared me so bad. <gasps> he literally scared me so bad. He just spawned right in front of us. Okay, another chest, more goodies. Oh, we can sort it. That definitely makes our life easier. I'm just gonna get it all. I'm sure we can explore this so much. But I don't know if I want to, because we have goals, you know? We have to get cobblestone. Let's plug up this hole. Just kidding, we have no blocks to plug it up, so we will not. We will not be plugging it up. Whoa! And now we're in this giant cave system. Probably don't want to go there just yet. I'm probably not ready for that. Ooh, look at this thing on the mini-map. Okay, well, we can't really see it, but we can look on the mini-map. It's a, I think it's a green axolotl. It's on the top right. Lots of axolotls over there. Whoa, so cute. That's so cool that we can see them on the map. Um, Maybe we'll just kind of venture down some of these hallways to see if we can find any more chests full of things. The iron always... Ooh, I hear a skeleton. But the iron is always so tempting. I always have to get it. It's just so useful. It looks like also on the map, we can see a geode. That's cool. I've heard, I, people have told me that there are, um, I guess I'll take this gold. There are 
diamond geodes and if you find one then you're set for diamonds for life but i think they're really rare because i've never seen one before but wouldn't that be so cool oh i can't hold it hmm well what do i get rid of i have so many so much stuff an activator rail because i don't even know how to use that so i don't need that okay nothing else down here Go back. Ooh, more iron. Always have to take the iron, of course. Even more iron. So I will just peek around a little bit more. What's down here? It's just like a little, little room of some sort. But I will peek around just a little bit more. And then we'll just get to collecting cobblestone. As we should probably be doing right now. But we came here to explore. Look how pretty. It's so cool. Here's this little urn thing. And if we break it, stuff will come out of it. I kind of do want those bones actually. So that maybe we could get a wolf. Oh, I'm glad I checked. Hello. Cool. Oh, uh, what do I get rid of? I have so much stuff and some of it, so much of it is so good. Hmm, I don't know. Actually, I might have to forego the, um, the bones. Let's see what's in this one, though. Hmm, what is that? Antique ink. It is so cool. I feel like we have to get it. I'll give it to the pumpkin seeds. I hear the skeleton. I just don't know where he's at. Okay. Last but not least, I think there's another little thing over this way. So we'll go over here. Ooh, look. This one's a minecart with TNT. That's cool. So much iron. This is such a good start, don't you think? Like, this is a great place to spawn. Oh my gosh, I almost fell way down there. That would have been so bad. Uh, can I jump up here without falling? It keeps on going and going. There's so much to this mine shaft. These mine shafts are really, really cool, I think. Okay, well. Um. Should not go that way, I don't think. I guess I will go ahead and get the iron because, you know, it's just, it's so good. Oh, there's so much of it. Oh, there's literally so much. I guess I'll get it. Like, I just feel bad leaving it, you know? Oh, and the clay makes such a fun noise. That's cool. I love it. I love all of the noises of Minecraft. Whoa, look at all of this iron. This is a giant iron vein. And then in Better Minecraft, of course, um, the iron is like mixed in to just like typical blocks, which is kind of cool. And some lapis. I'll take it because, you know, if I ever continue this world, I'll probably want it for enchanting. And it seems like that's about it over here. We, of course, have to collect this iron. And, okay, I think that's about it. I don't want to explore too much, but, like, there's just so much to look at. Hmm, what is this ladder? I don't know. It goes up though. More iron. So much iron. We are definitely set for early game for sure. Oh, I'm not gonna get that iron way up there. It's too far for me. Whoa. 
So much lush cave. That's so cool. We probably should get rid of this flowering azalea and just get a moss block instead. Because, you know, you can just multiply those moss blocks and continue to get moss items or like lush cave items out of them. So we'll definitely do that. Look on the mini map and look at those axolotls. This is a black one. That's so cool. I want to. Is he around us? <gasps> oh, he's so cool. I'm sorry, brown one. I love you, but we have to get this one. He's so cool. He's so cool. It, just stay in there. Oh, there's that, there's a lime green one right there. Just stay there with your friend and you'll be fine. Oh, there's a spore blossom. Ugh, I have to get the spore blossom, right? You just have to. Hmm, what can I get rid of? Honestly, I have no idea what this rope does. I'm gonna get rid of it. I do know what the spore blossom does and I know it's beautiful. But I guess we will just... Mine for cobblestone right here. I would like to get maybe two st two stacks of the stuff. I feel like that would probably be fine. I'll use the wooden pickaxe so that we can break it. Ooh, there's a red axolotl. That's cool. There's some iron. So much iron. Wow. I definitely don't want to mine any deep slate right now. It's not what I am here for. So I will just avoid it. But I think... Two stacks? Do you think two stacks will be enough? This is just for the roof trim. I think two stacks will be fine. So that will be our goal. If it's not enough, then it's not like cobblestone is hard to come by. We'll be able to get it pretty easily. So. We just have to mine a bunch of cobblestone. The iron pickaxe works so much better. <laughs> Going from like wooden tools to iron tools is so good. And then like whenever you have a full set of netherite gear, it's crazy going back to just starter gear. I, I feel like it's been so long since I've had, oh, I didn't even get that andesite really, honestly. But it's been so long since I've had a full set of, like, like fully leveled up gear. And I want it so bad. But I'm really excited for 1.20 to, like, have a new world, a new vanilla world. Because better Minecraft is, of course, very different from vanilla Minecraft. So I'm just so excited to have a brand new vanilla world because it's been a long time other than my hardcore, but that just felt very different. It didn't really feel like proper vanilla, you know, um, even though that obviously was, it just didn't feel that way, I guess, but it's just been so long. So I'm just so happy to get into it. And I think that will probably be my main series is the 1.20 series. And then I will do my better Minecraft still. Okay, we have two, sta two stacks of cobblestone. Hopefully that is enough. Um, maybe, should I get another half a stack? I feel like I should, just in case, you know, for just in case. But yeah, I'll, I'll keep on doing my better Minecraft, of course, but I think that I will focus on my vanilla world. I think that's probably what I'll do. Because I do love myself some vanilla Minecraft. There's just something about the simplicity of it that's just so fun. It just, it's just so enjoyable, I think. All right, up we go. It's probably nighttime. I, I assume it is nighttime. And I hear a little spider. On the mini map too, you can see a glare. Uh, okay, he just came off the mini map, but there was a little glare there. That's the floating lettuce, as people called him, uh, during one of the mob votes. I can't remember during which one, but I actually voted for the glare because he's cute. Okay, now I have to get over here safely. There we go. Um, now we just have to avoid the mobs and quickly get back to our base. I can hear a zombie behind me and I don't like it. We have ourselves a skeleton. 
a zombie. But like, it's actually not that scary playing in, in easy mode. Like I can get hit and I'm not gonna die. It's gonna be okay, you know? And I, I just have like little stone tools and I'm doing great. Things are fantastic. Okay, go to sleep. All right, and there we go. Just double check for the mobs, make sure we don't have like a creeper behind me, but I don't think I do. Cool, I haven't even seen a creeper this whole time, I don't think. Obviously they're on the mini map, on the mini map, but I haven't really seen them in like out and about. Okay, we have lots of goodies. So I'm going to go ahead and make myself a stone cutter. I need to drop off some of said goodies, probably make another, uh, another chest because we just have so much stuff. Oh, I made myself an oak chest. I guess that's fine, but I didn't really mean to. I'm just gonna dump it all and then like grab what I need to grab, you know? We'll definitely cook up that iron and probably the gold too, might as well. Um, and then we'll get some oak, some spruce, and it's like time to get ready and start building this house. But I do think I'm going to take a little break and just stretch, drink some water. Um, I've been sitting for about an hour and 15 minutes. So I just want to stretch my legs a little bit. And I invite you to do the same. Get up and get some water, stretch your legs, make yourself comfortable if you are uncomfortable right now. But I'm going to take a break and I'll jump right back in after my little break. that you all had a good little break i hope you did something to make yourself more comfortable but it is now time to actually get this little build in so one two three four five i guess we'll just do a little door in the center and then i was thinking about having a porch maybe i think that would be kind of cute i typically don't have porches in my builds but like wouldn't it be kind of cute maybe so maybe we will have a little porch. I don't know what kind of block the porch will be. I don't, maybe the maple, but I don't know how that would look. So we could try it and see what happens, but I don't know. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, I think, especially if we're gonna have a porch. So one, two, three, four, five. Get used to a lot of counting. Okay, one, two, three, four, five. I see some pillagers on the mini map. Yep, they're right there. Cool, love that. Love that for us. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And then one, two, three, four, five. I think we'll probably do it that tall. If you all could please leave, that would be fantastic. I actually don't think I want you here. Thanks though. Thanks for coming up just in case if I needed company, but I don't think I do. So we'll just do oak everywhere and then I'll probably sprinkle in some stripped oak logs just to add a little bit more texture and variety. I always like to do that. Um, I hear them. <laughs> I hear them. Okay. I don't I don't know if they're going to avoid us. We might have to get them. They don't seem very happy, right? They definitely don't. Yeah, I think that he wants to get me. Too bad. Uh multidisciplined. Cause I got the silver, I think. Obtain a silver ingot. I still don't really know what those do if I'm being completely honest. I've never really done anything with silver. But thanks though, anyways. 
for the silver. Um, okay, cool. We're almost done here with the walls. I like to put in the windows last. Oh, no, banner boy. I don't want to fight you. But I'm going to have to. I understand. I understand. I understand. I get it. Hi. Okay, I guess with that, we should probably drink some milk. You know, just in case. So, oh, our bucket? Ha Wait, we have these. These milk bottles. I wonder if we can just drink out of that. Oh, perfect. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, this is definitely a good start. I'm actually thinking about stripping these. I just think that whenever you don't strip them, they look like they're just so much darker. And I don't think our color palette is that dark. I don't think we need to do that. So we'll just do this. Oh, but I was talking about the windows before. The pillager really interrupted me. But I think that I will probably, or I like to put in my windows last. So I think that is going to be what we'll do even now is put the windows in last. I didn't mean to make it like a box in a box or like the same size across, but that's, that's what happened. And that's what we're going to do, I guess. Um, and then I was thinking about, okay, hmm, let's see here. Is this a bad porch? I feel like it probably is. And also, I might want to start making some more stone because I was thinking about maybe making this, the, the porch stone brick because I don't, I don't know about that. So maybe we'll make a stone brick. So we'll cook up some more stone. I think I want to go ahead and get the roof kind of in. Um... Just like the trim of it in. I don't really know what shape I'm going to go for, really. But I don't think I want to just do like a typical, like, not A-frame, but kind of. You know? Okay, so there's that. Maybe... What kind of pillar block do I have to work with? We have 23 pieces of dirt. That's cool. We'll use that. Okay, so we'll do stair, stair, and then I'm thinking about, I, I do this roof style a lot, and I think I'm going to do it again. I just love it. It just looks so good every time, you know? Okay, then we'll do like this, and then actually, scratch that, I want this section of the roof to open up over this way if that makes sense like this one's gonna face this way which makes it's gonna make for a very tall roof hmm i wonder if i should shorten the build or if it'll just be okay you know because it's gonna be very tall is that fine though Maybe. I think this is the center. So it'll be like this. Let's just take a look. I, no, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. Okay, cool. I don't think that's too tall at all. Tear down our dirt pillar. Do the same thing over here. So we'll do cobblestone stairs, upside down cobblestone stair, full block, stair, full block, stair, and then just stairs the rest of the way up. I think that's what I did on that side. And then this one, oops, I did not mean to fall. This one is going to be facing this way, like this. And I think I'll probably stick with that same style, I think. Mm. Mm. 
Do I want to go up another full block? And then do this there. And then do this. I think like this, this part of the roof will be taller than this part, which is perfect. I think that is exactly what I want. Okay. So let's finish this on the other side and then step back and see how it's looking. So we'll do a full block, stair, full block, stair, stair, stair. Step back and we'll see how it's looking. What do we think? Okay, cool. I definitely like the style. It feels very cottage, I feel like. It's kind of what I want to go for. So I'll get the rest of the trim in. I think we'll need some more stairs probably. So I'll go ahead and make some more stairs. Um, get the rest of the trim in. And then we can start filling it in. Maybe should I fill it in now or later? I'm not sure. But I do kind of want to make a wood cutter. Let's see how we make that. Because then we can just make the stairs really easily. And we don't have to like craft them all. Okay, woodcutter here. We just need iron and planks, I think. The woodcutters are a lifesaver. They can turn one plank into one trapdoor, and you know, trapdoors are so expensive. So, I definitely want to make one. I guess we'll just craft it ourselves like this. And there we go, woodcutter. And so, see see this little magic trick here? We'll just turn all of these into planks, and then we can just cut them like this. Look at that, it's glorious, I love it. Um, I'll probably make another one too. And then, I hope that's enough stairs. Mm, we'll make just, just like a few more, right? Just like 10 more. There we go. That's probably enough. And then that's cooking up to make more stone. We're making great progress. This build is going so smoothly. Definitely the fact that the trees chop down so quickly makes it go faster, I feel like. Honestly, I feel like that's what makes it go by so much faster. And we've just had a really good start. I've been enjoying my time um, in this little long play. It's been great. I've been really enjoying it, honestly. It's been very relaxing for me. So I hope it's been the same for you. I hope that you haven't been have been enjoying it as well. These are always great fun to do, these long play videos. Because I don't think too much about what I say in my regular edited videos. I am definitely, I feel like I overthink what I'm going to say. And if I say something weird, then I'll like go back and I'll restay it and I'll just keep on doing it until I say it perfectly. But with this, like too bad if I said something wrong, then I can't do anything about it because I'm not editing anything. So, you know, it's just like a fun time. I can't take myself too seriously and it's kind of fun like that. Okay, I think like this, I want to have this peak on this side too. You know, does that make sense? So I need, I'm gonna put a temporary block here, I think. And I need this to face this way. And then we'll just stack our little pattern up like this. I think that's the way. Let's see. Yeah, I think that's right. Cool, we did it. And then now we can just fill it in with the spruce. So hopefully I made enough materials. So we'll just fill it all in. Just like this. Very simple build. I get kind of sad that it's just vanilla, but here we are. That is quite literally just a vanilla build. Maybe I'll add like a little chimney or something. I definitely want to do the interior completely. I'll have a cute little interior and it'll be lots of fun.
because in modern Minecraft, the interior blocks, it, they're so good. Like you can have proper furniture, which is so fun. Yeah, I love that. I need to get some cobblestone slabs. Maybe I'll go ahead and do that now. Ooh, look, our stuff is growing. Okay, maybe we should expand a little bit. And if you right click um, within this mod pack, I think it's probably the Farmer's Delight mod, then it will automatically harvest for you um, and replant, which is so nice. There we go. This I don't think matters that much. But we'll go ahead and turn these tomatoes into tomato seeds. We don't want that rotten tomato. And then we'll plant some more. Okay, cool. And then our sugar cane is growing slowly but surely. And we'll spread it out a little bit. We kind of accidentally made two sugar cane farms, but that's okay. And we'll just replant. It's just so nice doing like your little starter stuff. It's just so fun. S little starter, a little starter Minecraft world. The start of it, so lovely. Okay, looking for coal to add to the furnace. We still need some food. Food is definitely a big thing that we're going to need. Because we're definitely running out. If if it becomes too much of an issue, we could just fish and that's how we could get some food. That wouldn't be a bad way to go about it. I should have gotten those hay bales in the villages, but you know how I was saying that I just kind of feel bad like stealing from the villagers, but I probably should have just done it anyways. I don't know why I feel bad for like doing things in games is literally just like pixels on a screen and I feel bad for the villagers for like taking their their hay but I really shouldn't that's why I like there's some farms that I just like refuse to make like the cow crusher farms I just refuse to make those because I mean they're so good they give you so much beef and leather but they're just so sad I just feel so bad making them so I just literally, I think I've made one one time before, but I just, I just can't do it. I don't have the heart to do it. And then automatic sheep farms. I have made one before, actually my better Minecraft series, but I still feel bad making them. But they're so good. Okay, I think we'll do it like that maybe. That's how we'll make that connect. And I don't know if I already said this, but maybe I'll make a chimney. I think that chimneys just kind of like complete your roofs. They're like, you just, a house is not the same without a chimney. You know, chimneys just add so much to your builds. Ooh, we do have a lush cave close to us. So that means we have clay and clay means bricks. That's actually a really good idea. We can have a proper brick chimney. So maybe we'll do that. That'll be really cool. And hopefully I'll have enough stairs. We're kind of running low. I don't know. Hopefully. But I feel like we might just be a couple short. Oh, oh no, okay. Oops, misplaced it. But yeah, we're definitely a few short. So we'll go back and get some, I guess. Make some planks. I don't think I needed to make any planks actually, but it's fine. We'll make these into stairs. I won't step on you, snail, I promise. Well, I can't promise that. I mean, mistakes happen, right? I'll try not to step on you. 
I wonder if that actually happened. I'll have to rewatch that footage and see if it, if I actually stepped on a snail. If I did, I totally did not mean to. And then put the little bit here and then the roof is pretty much done. Cool. That connected nicely. Awesome. Of course, we'll get that chimney in here in a bit. Just not right now. We have to finish off these bits too. So I guess I'll go ahead and start that. Um, I think we'll need some more stairs actually. So we'll go ahead and craft some more stairs. And then, okay, we have enough oak in our inventory, so we don't have to worry about that. And I'm just gonna, going to go ahead and fill it all in. And then, of course, um, we will do the windows next. That block, I think we'll just use as a full plank like that. Okay, cool. It's coming together. Looking nice. Fill all of this in. I know nighttime is approaching slowly but surely. Maybe I can finish this part of the roof before night time fully comes. We should also probably light up the house. That is a thing that we should worry about. You see the villager just out in the middle of nowhere? Where is he? There's a pillager. But here, let me sleep first and then I'll show you the villager. I mean, I mean, maybe he's just in the village, but he kind of looked like he was in the middle of nowhere. And I think that I think that there is also a blue bird on the map, which is pretty tempting. It looks really pretty. Where was that villager? Maybe he wasn't in the middle of nowhere, but I could have swore I saw him just like in the middle of nowhere. And then the bird is here. Is that a bird? It looks so cute. Here's a coconut crab. That's cool. But I don't see a villager. I assume you can't hear this, but my dog is snoring in the background. So if you can hear it, then that's what that noise is. I think I might also make another little pillar there. Yeah, I think that looks a lot better. Kind of just finishes it off. But yeah, she is snoring in the background. So if you can hear that, that's, that's what's going on. Oh, that's not the right block. Yeah, it's really dark in there. We gotta light it up. But I wanna have a porch and I wanna put like, oh, we can put the little hydrangeas on the front yard. That's not the right block either. Where's my pickaxe? There we go. We can put the hydrangeas. We have to go back and get those bushes. Um, And then we can put those in our front yard. We can put like a little bench on the porch. Isn't that so cute? I'm so excited. I just want it to be like a little grandma's cottage, you know? That's kind of what I was thinking. Okay, cool. Looking good. Now, let's maybe get this porch in. So we'll take the stone that we have, and I think we'll just turn it into, what is that? Twisted stone. Huh, that's cool. That's not what I meant to click on though. Bold stone pillar. Whoa, I didn't even notice those were in the game at all. But we will place this down as our porch. I don't know how big I want it to be. Do I want it to go out here? Maybe. Hmm. 
feel like it kind of has to go all the way out here. I guess we'll have to cook up some more cobblestone. But that's okay. How many pieces do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Well, we'll cook that up. Um, wait, does it kind of look like the Good Place house? If it does, that was not my intention at all. Uh, the, it totally happened by accident, if that is what it looks like. I don't really remember exactly what it looks like, but, like, kind of looks like it, doesn't it? That is so funny. Definitely was not what I was going for. I mean, the Good Place Cottage is adorable. I love it, but wasn't trying to recreate it or anything. I'll go ahead and fill these little gaps in here, I guess. While we're waiting for that cobblestone to cook up. Oh, there's so many gaps. Oh no. My inventory is just getting messy. I need to clean out my hotbar, honestly. Yes, I definitely need to. Oh, I'll get to that later. Um, I think I want to make this like a little bay window. I feel like that's so basic. I always go for it, but you know, that's fine. It looks good. There's a reason I always go for it. So I guess we'll need to get some more sand. I guess we'll need glass. So maybe I'll get it from here. Seems like a good enough place to collect some sand. It's probably enough, right? I feel like I've probably created this house like a thousand times, like this exact style of house. I don't know. I need to like get outside of my comfort zone in some way because I definitely create very similar looking builds. Oh, look at that giant potato. Oh, and this one just grew too. One, two, three. Cool. We'll probably need to start eating those potatoes here soon. Okay, stone is finished. We'll go ahead and put the sand in. We'll go ahead and make, I wanna make three stairs and then I'll turn the rest into the just regular stone bricks. But I'll put these stairs in the center and then do the stone bricks like this. Yeah, you know, that's the idea. Maybe we'll do, hmm, I was gonna say maybe we'll do some kind of overhang, but if it came out from here, it'd probably be really short. So maybe not. And then should I do like this beam going here? Again, I feel like that's basic because that's literally what I always do. But again, there's a reason that I always do it like this because it just, it looks good. Um, and then we do this, you know, I create a little archway and it looks cute, right? And then we copy the same thing on this side. I'll do this number. And then put the little things. And then for the windows, maybe we can have them like this. And then another one here. And then we can put, is that how we want to do them? Or do we want them one in? I don't think I want them one in. Um, but then we can put little shutters and like little uh, window boxes. That's what I was trying to go for. But maybe do we want them like this. No. Oh, I hear a wandering trader. Maybe we can make them really long though. Maybe we'll do that. And then the same thing on the other side. Don't worry, I'll check out the watering trader. Oh, sad. Is he inside my house? 
Yes, he is. He is inside my house. Um, all right. Let's get some more cobblestone here. Oh, I already have some. I need sticks. Do I have any? I don't know what these twigs are. I have literally no idea. I should probably figure it out, but I just haven't. Nope, that's not what I need. This is what I need. And then more spruce. And then the stairs. I probably won't do the same windows just because I don't want to do the same thing. I don't know what I'll do there yet. All right. We're on your trader. Where did you go? I'm trying to see what trades you have. We actually do have emeralds. So if he has anything good, we have the potential to buy it. Ooh, bundles. Six emeralds, though. Hmm, that's what I think too. Rat faced boy. Whoa. A music disc called Rat Faced Boy. But how many emeralds do we have? We have four. I would honestly maybe get those those little things. But those little bundles, but you know, I don't have six emeralds. Okay, I am going to make a little stair and put it here. Oh, this isn't really even, but I mean, it, technically it is, but it doesn't look super even. But that's fine. Okay, we'll do it like that. Let's see how the glass is coming along. Coming along swell. Make some panes. There we go. And then like this. Cute little bay window. I love these little windows. They're so simple, but I think they're so cute. And we'll put those big windows there. We should probably place some windows in the back as well. Hmm, where do I want to place them? Maybe I just... Hmm, maybe like this? Maybe, maybe... I mean, it works, right? It does work. So we'll just leave it like that. What else do we need to do? Obviously, lots of just texturing. We need a door. I guess I'll go for a spruce door. I think that's probably the best option. We can also make a door with a woodcutter. That's cool. Love that. Night time is approaching, we'll go to sleep, but how do we make these shutters? Because I know I definitely want some shutters. Spruce shutter, oh, we need slabs, okay. We can do that. And it makes four. Is that enough? 12, maybe? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. I think it's enough. I was counting my windows. Wait, I actually don't think it's enough. I forgot to count some windows. We'll make just a few more. Look at the snail. He was trying to jump up there. <laughs> he was jumping over and over again. Okay, so we'll do it like this. Cute. But actually, let me do it properly over the window so, to, so it actually makes sense. So we can do it like this. Do we want to do it like that? I don't know. So that it can like actually cover the window. I know it doesn't cover the middle bit, but I, you know, I think we'll do it like that because it's actually functional, you know? Perfect. And then some over here like that. And it makes it functional. So we can close the shutters if we want to. Cute. And then now some window boxes. Let's see how we make those. I put window boxes in like every single build I ever do. What are they called? Flower boxes, maybe? I put these little boxes in like every single build I ever do because they're just so cute. I just love them. Um, Let's see if I can just type in flower box and it'll just come up. Yes. We'll make um, one, two, three, 
four, five. Okay, I think that is enough. And we'll just put these down here and then we'll put flowers in them. And it's gonna be so cute. There we go. And then now flowers. These pink ones are really cute. So maybe we'll go for the white ones and the pink ones. And then we'll just leave the periwinkle ones on the ground. I think that's fitting. That's enough, I think. Maybe? Maybe not, actually. Let me grab a couple more. Hello, snail. Look at this. Clover patch? That's adorable. Adorable little clover patch. Okay, now let's try this. And we'll just make a little pattern of them. So white, pink, white, pink, white, pink. They're simple. They're little baby, but they're really cute. So now we'll do pink, white, pink, white, and then same thing over here. White, pink, white, pink. Super cute. Okay, cool. It's definitely coming together. We have to get that chimney in. Um, and the porch needs a lot of love. I really want to do some kind of overhang, but I don't know if that's really gonna work. You know, I was thinking out of like campfires. Okay, I have an idea. We'll just put a temporary like overhang with spruce slabs and just see how it would look. Cause my concern is that it's going to look too low down and it's gonna look kind of weird. But actually I don't think it's going to, so. I guess we're going to make a bunch of campfires. Campfires are pretty expensive. So we'll need a bunch. We'll need a bunch of them. But that's okay. It's going to be worth it. I think it's about time that we have an iron axe. Once this stone axe breaks, we're getting an iron axe. Because it's so slow. Okay, we need one, two, three, four. And then... Like one, two, three, like 12, maybe? We'll try 12 and see what happens. Let me clear out this inventory just a little bit. And I need coal. I'll need more sticks. Is that enough sticks? May no, it's definitely not, there's no way. Campfires are more expensive than that. Mm. And then just a little bit more coal. And now campfire. Wait, oh, perfectly. We can perfectly make 12. And then we'll just place them here. And hopefully this is good. Hopefully I like this because this is where they are being placed. And we can't really move them. Oh, it's raining. This is the first. Oh, I did not count right at all. Well, we need three more, right? Yeah, we just need three more. Um, but we can't hear the rain. I ha was having this issue in my regular, um, my regular better Minecraft world. And I couldn't hear the rain. I think you have to like save and quit. And then maybe once you come back, you'll hear the rain. Maybe, I can't remember honestly, but it's so weird. But I actually don't mind the rain right now. It's kind of cute, isn't it? Maybe it's the, the sound of it that I don't like. Maybe that's why I don't like it, typically. I have to make another shovel. We'll make ourselves an iron shovel. We've deserved it. I think that we can shovel up enough, shovel up enough iron for an iron shovel. I did not mean to make that, that little joke, but No! Oh no! No! Oh, I was thinking if we could place it. I told myself I was gonna be careful, but I wasn't. I can't believe I stepped on him! Why is that a thing? How is that allowed that you can accidentally step on your snails? That is so brutal. I hate that so much that you can accidentally just step on the snails. I'm upset. I'm upset that I just stepped on the snail. Wow. 
I should have been more careful. I was just, I just hop around. That's just what I do. I didn't mean to hop around on the snail. Wow, so sad. Well, I feel so bad. Okay, well, moving on. I think I'm going to place a barrel here maybe. I don't know. I'm just placing things down and seeing what happens. And then we'll do like this thing. Mm -mm. Actually, I feel like I hate that. Do I? I don't think the barrel needs to be there. I feel like if I do a barrel, it needs to be here. Closer to the stairs. You know? I No, I actually don't think I like the barrel. No to the barrel. Um, And then I think that we had to do this just to like mirror it. Uh, why don't I like it? Why does it look weird to me? Is that better? I don't think that's better, but honestly, I mean, I don't love it, but I don't hate it either. Okay, we'll just leave it like that for now and just see what happens. Once we have all of our decorations in, then maybe we'll love it. I feel so bad. We'll have to make a little grave for our snail friend because I am heartbroken. That is so sad. Let me just dump some stuff. I am going to... Go back down in the mine and get some clay. I'm looking for my shield. I probably just dumped it somewhere. Where is my shield? Um, I'm sure you all are like, it's literally right there. Your shield is right there. Where is it? I don't understand. Did I just have it? I will take these potatoes though. I should probably bring those down with us. Well, we might just not be bringing a shield because I literally can't find it. Um, where is it? Oh, it's right there. Ha ha ha. I found it. Okay, we'll go down the mine and get lots of clay for the chimney I want to build. I still am not over the snail that I jumped on. I'm still not over it. What was that noise? I think there was a bunny falling. Wee! Watch me die whenever I do that. Oh, okay. We'll stay like this. And then there should be plenty of clay everywhere. Perfect. Ooh, and a small drip leaf. Oh, there's a creeper right there. I'm so glad I saw that. Okay, there we go. We got the little creeper. Maybe light this area up just a little bit. Okay, now more clay. Again, love this sound. Just such a nice sound. It's so squishy. I wonder how much we need. I have no idea. I think four makes one block. Right? But I, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to do that math in my head. So we won't even attempt. Maybe we'll finish out that stack and then that'll be good. Okay, that's good, right? I will get this iron. There we go, and then ready to go back up to the surface. And then we'll cook it up and we'll be able to make a cute little campfire. I need to start working on the interior. Maybe I'll do like a loft situation and have a bedroom upstairs. I think that'd be really cute. Ooh, also, 
<laughs> let me go back down just because I remembered that in order to make any kitchen items, you actually need andesite. And I want to make kitchen items. So here's one piece of andesite. Oh, here's more. Ooh, what are these? Icicle. Oh, that's cool. Oh, surface moss. I love that surface moss. That's so cool. Uh, I probably need shears to collect it, though. And I don't have them with me. Or actually, I don't think I've ever created a pair of shears. So, I should probably do that. But, yes, we need lots of andesite to make, like, counters and cabinets and all of those lovely things. So before I head up and then get sad that I don't have any andesite, we should probably get some andesite. 36 is enough, I do believe. Now we can head up to the surface. Start on that chimney, start on the interior. Maybe we'll try to use that maple block as the floor. I haven't decided yet, but it would be kind of cool, right? Maybe, I'm not sure. It's just so busy. It feels like a very busy block. So I don't know how I would feel about it on my floor. Oh, I can use the birch. Because I didn't never use it for the roof. I was going to. Maybe I'll do birch. That would be cool. I feel like I haven't really used birch too much as a flooring. So I'm down. Okay, not even going to jump around that snail at all. I see that creeper. Don't worry, I see him. Oh, stay clear of the snail. Okay, whoa, that one recipe that came up whenever I got the um the gunpowder that looked like a cool item. I don't know what it was. But I do see some creepers on the map. So I just gotta make sure that we don't have any surprises. Just gotta clear out the mobs real fast. Ooh, don't blow up. Okay. Um, there's another creeper over here I see on the mini map. Oh, he's a baby creeper. <gasps> okay, let's go in the water. I don't think I've seen a baby creeper yet. But if we go in the water, then he'll blow up and he won't like make a mess. More babies. <laughs> okay. Well. Now it is time to cook up our clay. That more babies mod has like a bunch of like all of, like there's baby, obviously there's baby zombies. I guess there are typically baby zombies, aren't there? But there are baby skeletons. Wait, I have seen a baby creeper. I feel like I have. Baby creepers are not fun. <laughs> Let me get some coal. We'll place it in here. We'll wait for that to cook up. And then we'll go ahead and start on this floor with the birch. I think that's what we'll go for. And I'll just make it into a bunch of slabs. Oh wait, actually, on second thought, I think that you can make these boards and they make a lovely floorboard. So maybe we'll actually do that. I know I just made a bunch of slabs, but I really wanna do it like this, I think. So let me just like dump some of my stuff. Um, and then we'll do these and we'll make all the boards. It's a little bit more expensive because I can't use the, um, the, the slabs, but it's fine. We'll just make this work and hopefully this looks good. Just 
hoping this looks good. But I love our little house so far. I'm, I think that our house is looking pretty good. Hey, room, can you open the door? Do they typically open doors or is it just in this mod pack? I don't know. Yeah, but like, doesn't that look like a good floor? I feel like it does. Um, if we do it like this and the windows are like on the same level as the floor, do we like that or do we hate that? I don't know. I kind of don't like it, but also here we are. <laughs> Maybe I should like make a little step down. Maybe we should do that instead just so that we don't have that happening. Okay, well, I probably should have decided that before I placed them all. Because now, well, okay, yeah, I, I have to commit. I have to commit to spending a little bit of extra time on it so that I'm happy. Because then we have to dig out that bottom layer too, but that's okay. I will be happy with this decision, I'm sure. So that will be like the little entryway area and then this will get into all the other stuff like the kitchen and stuff. And then dig out this. Oh gosh, why does that dig so fast? Oh, lush grass block. That's actually like a different block. But oh, lush dirt. Oh, why does it dig out so fast though? I had no idea that this was like a different kind of block, honestly. But it digs so fast. Oh my goodness. Okay, now we place this here. And then I think we'll do some kind of maybe stairs running across. Across, I said across to the T at the end. That's not a word. Oh, I made so many of these boards and I did not even need that many. Wow. So we'll make some stairs. I don't know how many I need actually. Probably should have counted. Is six enough? Maybe we'll make six, seven, eight, nine. We'll make nine, just in case. And then run those across. Okay, cool. Oh yeah, and then this thing, we can finish this. Oh my goodness, I do this every single time. I guess I don't really mind decorating because I don't really like doing interiors. I guess it's not the decorating part that I mind. It's just like the, like this part that I'm doing right now that I mind. Like doing the actual like structural part of the interior, like doing all of the walls. I don't have any oak with me. Like doing the walls and the floor and the rooms and the ceiling, like that's the part that I don't really like. So, um, what am I doing? What am I getting? Oak. Oh, this horrible inventory. <laughs> it's getting so bad. Hello, llama. Um, okay, over here. Okay, there we go. The walls are finished. We have to do the ceiling because this is not cutting it. And then we have to do some kind of loft. Hmm. What if we did it like over here? I don't know. Maybe we'll make like a bigger loft. Let's get some spruce slabs, I think. Will be a good floor for that loft. So, okay, we have plenty of spruce. Oh, I have a lead. I don't know how that happened, but I do have one. 
So we'll craft ourselves lots of little sobby boys. Maybe there. Is that going to feel too low? I feel like that's going to feel too low. Maybe we'll do it one higher. So here. Yeah, that's. I think that's much better. And then I think I'm going to extend it all the way here and then pretty much like going to the step up, I think. Definitely need to get some lighting up here. Much better. Maybe going here? Maybe that's pretty good? Let's see. Let's step down and look at it. Yeah, I think that will be good. We'll do a little... Probably a little ladder honestly, and then some kind of rail. Got to finish off the ceiling, but then this can kind of be the kitchen area because this, imagine cooking in front of that. That's so cute. Um, and maybe a little living room area over here, like a little eating area. And then we can do a little like entryway. So let's get the ceiling in because that's the worst part, honestly. Um, and I guess we'll just have to go with spruce. I did not need to make that many spruce slabs. I feel like I always do this. I just like craft so many of one thing and I'm like, I don't need to make that many. Like, what am I thinking? Like, I'm getting so ahead of myself. I just made a random path block. Ooh, are we? Oh, I made another path block. Are we out of coal? I feel like we are. Wow, I should have gotten some more. Hmm, that's unfortunate. Well, I guess I'll split it between the two and just do what I can. Uh, okay, we are making staircases, I think. I think that's how I want to go about that. And then... I don't think I want to do cobblestone on the roof. I was thinking about it, but maybe not. And nighttime is approaching. I'll just bring my bed with me. We can just put it upstairs, I guess. That's kind of where the bed is going to go. So that makes sense. Oh, and we, we need to get the ladder up here. For now, we will do dirt. And then the roof, I am, or the ceiling rather, I'm not great at ceilings because I don't care. <laughs> I think that I could probably improve my ceiling skills, but I just honestly don't care enough to like look up how to make a good ceiling. So I just keep it so basic and then do like this number here with um, just like upside down staircases. But I'm sure there are other ways you can go about it. I just, again, I don't like doing this part of interiors. Decorating, I guess is fine. Especially in modern Minecraft, you know, that is fairly enjoyable because there are actual furniture bits. Oh, and then I think for this little middle bit, I'll probably get in here and maybe do some trapdoors. Maybe that's what I'll do. Oh, and we could do oak trapdoors just to like change it up a little bit. Um, I feel like this is awkward, but like, what else do I do? You know, so I guess we'll just leave it. That's kind of awkward. Um, well, we'll just, I'll add the trap doors and then we'll see what happens. Also, what if I put like a little window here? That could be really cute, wouldn't it? We'll have to look at it from outside and see how that looks, but we definitely need some kind of window up here. And maybe we can put another one there too, but we'll see how it looks from outside. See, this is how I do my windows. I just like, I just do it and I just go from there. I don't really plan my windows too well. Okay, 
How does this one look? Yeah, I think that looks cute. So we'll just do it like that. And then over here, let's see how this looks. Yeah, cute. Okay, we'll do those windows. That's totally fine with me. Um, so, glass panes. We need just a little bit more glass panes. And then we'll do the shutters, I think on this one, but I don't think we'll do shutters on the front ones. And then we do have the window boxes. So where are my flowers? Here are more of these. And then we need the other pink ones, wherever those are, right there. It's so bad. The inventory is so bad. I just put out my panes. Okay. Definitely need something here. I just don't know what yet. It's looking a little bit empty for sure. Okay, there's that, there's that, some little flowers, and then the white flowers, and then the shutters. I think the wandering trader is just like going to my house. Wandering trader, build your own house. And then we'll do this. And then should I do a little flower box here? I mean, I have this stuff for it. I feel like I might as well. Okay, cool. We'll do it like that. He's just like hanging out at my house. Okay. Chimney will definitely help. Have to decorate the porch. I guess I'll go ahead and let's prioritize the outside. And then we'll get to the inside. So I want to make a couple of lanterns. And what I love about these lanterns is you can actually place them like this. Isn't that so cool? I just love that. How it's just hanging there. Super cute. Hmm. Should we place another one somewhere else? I don't know. Maybe. I do want to get some flower pots, which is perfect that we have all these bricks because I definitely want to use lots of flower pots. Um, and then we have to get those hydrangea bushes. So we'll put some little flower pots around. I want to make a bench. So let's see how we do that. Mm, what color? I wonder what the maple bench would look like. Maple bench. Ooh, look at the Japanese maple bench. It's so cute. I wonder, let's, let's try it. We'll try it. Try the regular maple bench and see what it looks like. So I know I have more maple wood. Um, so we'll do this, and then I don't need to get carried away, <laughs> so I probably shouldn't make too much. And then it was like this, I think, and then like this, and there we have ourselves a bench. Okay, I accidentally made six. It's kind of getting carried away, isn't it? And then, uh, I mean, it's fine, right? It's not bad. It kind of like, it's kind of gray. So I feel like it blends in with the porch a little bit, but like, it's not too bad. Spruce would have definitely looked better, but we just don't have a lot of like wood types to work with, I feel like. I am going to go ahead and make ourselves another chest though, because it's too, we gotta do something about it. The situation is getting a little bit out of hand. Okay, cool. 
Um, and then we'll do some bricks. Ooh, that is not enough bricks. For an entire chimney. Okay, but we have a little bit more. I mean, I don't know if we can work with 32, but we might be able to try. I wish I would have gotten some granite because then we could have done some granite and I think that would have looked really nice. Oh, and we can't make any more campfires because we don't have coal, man. We're gonna have to go get coal, I guess. Hmm, maybe I should get coal and then also get granite. So maybe we'll do that. Though I am feeling that I need another break. I have been playing for an extra hour. So I'm feeling another break coming on. Um, I just like can't sit for that long. I just feel like I need to get up and move around, you know? Uh, which I guess you're supposed to get up and move around. But like, I feel it. My body cannot sit for that long. So, um, oh no cow, oh no cow. It's gonna be okay. Well, I guess it's not going to be okay. Sad day. Maybe I should have picked up my leaves. Maybe I should have picked up after myself. I am so sorry. I just don't understand why they suffocate in the leaves. Doesn't make sense to me, honestly. But anyways, um, maybe what I'll do is I will gather some coal, gather some granite, and then we'll jump back in and I will have already gathered it. So I'll do it kind of off camera just a little bit. Um, and then we can jump back in and finish the chimney and the interior of the house together. So... Again, I encourage you all to take a little break as well. Get up and stretch if you haven't in a while. Um, get up and get some water. Do whatever you need to do to make yourself comfortable. But I am going to do the same thing. So need to be careful. Don't want to fall and die. Um, but <laughs> with that, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave you all here and take my little break. I got some coal and also some granite. Oh, oh, I just stepped on that campfire. That scared me. I thought there was something behind me, but there's not. Uh, now, to make this little uh, chimney. So, we'll make a campfire. I guess I can just search it, can't I? Campfire. And then I will also make like four spruce trap doors. And then we'll just go up there. Let me get some dirt. Go up there uh, and drop off some of my other stuff. Okay. And also, now that I think about it, I do think I want to get some just regular bricks, like brick stairs, I mean. Um, just to add a little bit of variety with the chimney. Ooh, I think, well, I think it makes sense to put the chimney on this side just for balance because we do have that section up there. So I feel like it makes sense to put it here, even though that technically it makes sense to put it on this side since the kitchen is gonna be there, but you know, Minecraft doesn't really matter that much exactly where I put it. So I'll just stack up like this. And then I was thinking about doing like this number so that we can have it kind of a different shape. Ooh, and then maybe we can chop it off a little bit here and then do another staircase so that then we're just working with this one by one block area, maybe. So the campfire will go here. And then we'll have the spruce trap doors all around. If 
I can ever place any blocks correctly. Another spruce trap door. And then there we go. And then I'll come in here and I'll kind of texture it with the granite that I got. And we'll do another staircase here. I mean, it's a chimney, right? Maybe we make this a little bit skinnier through here. Like that. Okay, I think I like that better. And then we'll just come in here and texture. Yep. The granite looks good with it, I think. Um, I want another one like up here. Okay, and the chimney is done, I think. I could come in here and make it look a little bit older so that uh, it looks like bricks are falling out of it or something. So maybe I'll do that, you know? Oh, well, it doesn't kind of work. It doesn't really work right there, does it? So I guess we won't do it there. Maybe we can do one here. Oh, that's just right beside of that one. So actually, no, we will not. Maybe here? Eh, actually, I don't know about it. Okay, just kidding. We'll just... Have that one? Is that weird? Nah, we'll just have that one. That's fine. Now let's see if we like the height of it. Hopefully it looks good because I don't really have too much. Okay, cute. Yeah, it's a little wonky, but I liked it like that. So cool. I like it. Uh, I do want to get in here and harvest some potatoes. And then I think we'll just cook these potatoes instead of expanding the potato farm. Um, some little tomatoes. And then also our sugarcane is doing fantastic. So we'll harvest that too. Expand it just a little bit, but I think I'm pretty much done expanding it. It's probably good. Wow, look at it. It looks so cute. It's really coming together, I think. Now, for the interior, we do need to get those hydrangeas, but maybe I will focus on the interior before I do that. I did go ahead and add this ladder here. Um... I was talking about getting those oak trap doors, so maybe I'll do that now. And then we also need to start crafting ourselves some little kitchen blocks. So, first things first, oak trap doors. I don't know if that's going to be enough. I feel like, okay, maybe this will be enough. And that's so much cheaper than vanilla Minecraft. And then we'll try to search for some kitchen blocks. See, we need, I think we need a, a polished inside slab. Mmm, what color should we make all of the kitchen things? Because we already have a lot of spruce going on and a lot of oak going on. So we could do the maple, but I'm just really not liking the maple very much so i think our next best option is probably spruce since we have the oak walls so i guess that's what we'll do but first things first we got to get these oak trap doors in and then we can get all of the little kitchen blocks Ooh, and we'll probably also need some wool because you can make some really cute curtains and really cute little armchairs and also frogs, of course. So we should probably get some kind of wool. Honestly, I haven't really seen any sheep, have you? I feel like I haven't really seen any. We could always get some wool from these tents, um, from the purple tents, because they are made out of wool. That might be a little bit scary, but honestly, that's pretty resourceful, isn't it? Going over there and getting this wool. 
Okay, I think some of it's concrete, but there is a lot of wool over there. So I think we'll probably do that here in a bit. But what was I doing with the spruce? Okay, we are making um, the kitchen stuff. So I need andesite, which is here. Then I think I need a little bit more spruce. Let's see, how do I make these again? Okay, just regular planks. And then I guess we should probably make these into smooth or polished andesite slabs. We'll do it like this, like this, and that makes 15 counters. But then we also need the counters to make the cupboards. So we need just a chest and then two counters. So maybe I'll make a chest out of the birch. A couple of chests out of the birch. And then what if we just search covered? Okay, cool. That comes up. We don't need that many. I feel like eight should be plenty. Oops, okay, well, I guess 10, because that's what I just did. I guess we're having 10. Uh, maybe five counters will be enough. Let's just find out. We'll just place it down and see. Go to sleep first. And then... We could also have a little sink block and place it there. This is a very interesting kitchen. So I had to figure out how I want to go about it. It's kind of small. Hmm. We could do it like this and have like a little island like that, which isn't a terrible idea, honestly. Maybe not there. Maybe here. I mean, that's not a terrible idea. And then we can check out that um that sink block we need a bucket and then a counter so we'll have to make some more counters and then we can also make a bucket and then we can make the little sink so let's get some iron one two three make ourselves a little bucket oh i don't know what i just did but that's a really cool table you just need sticks for it maybe we should check that out because that's kind of cool isn't it I've never seen that table. I can't believe you just need two sticks. Like, how cute. Okay, cool. Maybe we'll actually use that. That's a pretty cool table. But now I need more spruce. We'll make some more of these. And then do this. And then we get that. Um everything and the kitchen sink i just got that advancement there we go um it'd be cute if we got some little bar stools i wonder if that's a thing let's see bar stool oh i see these oh cool that would be perfect okay um i feel like we should probably do spruce so we need spruce slabs and sticks I feel like this is kind of the method whenever you're building in modded you just like look something up and then you come back and then you make it and then you repeat the process over and over and over again okay it just makes one i think we'll probably want two because i honestly don't know everything that you can make with this mod pack there are so many things that you can make with it so i just look it up and then you know just repeat that process Look how little they are. Cute. Awesome. I like that. Um, again, I want to get some little couches, though. Purple is not going to match great, but it's it's what we have. So I feel like we'll just do that. Um, I do want to get another crafting table. And some chests and just have like a little entrance area here you know just like some chests and it'd be cool to get some kind of um like you can get 
what are they called? Shelves. You can make shelves. And I always like them because I like to put some items that I get more, I get more regularly. So maybe we'll make some oak ones. So we need oak slabs and then some sticks. But for example, like my shield, maybe I don't want to carry that everywhere with me, but I want it handy. So I feel like that's a great, ooh, maybe we'll do birch actually. And I think that's a great use for the shield is what I'm trying to say. The shield, the shelf. I think I said the shield. That's a great use for the shelf. So we'll just do it like this and then see, we can just like place our shield there and then we can just get it as we're going out the door. And I think that's so cute. So there's that. Uh, what else? Of course, little thing over here. We'll put the bed upstairs. I think I want some oak um, fences there. Put our bed here. I'm just gonna fall right down. Let me get those oak fences while I'm thinking about it. Where is all of my oak wood? I have this. So I guess that's what we're going to use. And then I also want to set down like a little eating area, a little proper table and chairs. Okay, there's that. So we'll use this table over here. I don't know if I just want to do one or two. I'm not sure. And then there are so many different chairs in this game. I know that. Like, look how many different ones. Um, I don't really like the short stubby ones too much. I feel like there's more chairs. Okay, there's these. And then there's, I like these. So slabs and sticks. Slabs and sticks. Slabs and sticks. Oh, and that makes two. So we have our table and our chairs. And we'll go ahead and set those down. Hmm. What do I, because I want this to be like a living room. I mean, we already do have the bar stool, so do we technically need another sitting area? Probably not, though it's still cute. So we'll leave it there for now, but then I might go back and get rid of it. Whenever we get the living room in, we'll just see what happens. So I'm going to make some shears right now. I think I need to actually make another, um, another sword. So we'll do that. Make another sword. I should probably be cooking these potatoes as well. There's our new sword. We have the shears. Our shield is doing fine, so we're good there. Um, we're not doing great on food, but what do you do? Our chests are all full, so we can't put anything else in there, so that's great. Um, kind of just waiting on the food. What else can we do in here while we're waiting? Is there anything else I can think of? Well, we can definitely put some pots down. I think, yes, I do have plenty extra. We can put maybe a pot here, maybe one on the table, maybe one here in the corner, super cute. Um, okay, it's definitely coming together. It's nothing special, but it's still cute. I'm still enjoying it. I do think I wanna make, I think we can make oak barrels, like specifically oak, so. Am I out of oak? I feel like I am. Hmm. Do I have any oak in here? I don't. I am completely out of oak. So, um, I guess we'll make an iron axe. Oh, wait. I do have some. I have some in my inventory. Um, okay, cool. We'll just use that oak. But what was I going to use it for again? Oak barrel. Okay, I remember. Uh, do I have any oak slabs? Not in there. 
I'm in there. I'm in there. Okay, I'll just make myself some oak slabs then. And let's search barrel. No, I just need all oak. So I'll do it like this. I think, and then little slabs, oak barrel, perfect. Because I want to use it for my bed, I think. And maybe, I do have some lanterns. I want to put a lantern on my nice stand too. Ooh, there's actually lamps that you can get. Though, I think you need wool for it. But, I mean, we could definitely do that too if we wanted to. Okay, so I was thinking this little barrel, barrel, and then like a little thing. We could put a little flower pot and a little lantern, like that. Pretty simple, but I think it's still cute. Set my spawn. And then now we can go on over to the pillagers. Um, maybe after, uh, after nighttime comes and goes, we'll go over there. I'm just going to look around for a couple of flowers maybe. So, cause we have so many flower pots, so we got to fill them somehow. Of course, we will get those hydrangeas. Don't you worry. Oh, and one cool thing that I figured out is that you can actually shear the bricks. At least, hmm. I've been able to shear the bricks before. Maybe. Yeah, and it'll make like cracked stone bricks, but I don't know why I can't now. Hmm. I have been able to do that before. So I don't I don't know why I'm having an issue doing it now. I don't know, beats me, honestly. How are these days going by so fast? That's crazy. I'll probably get rid of that torch now. And I know that nighttime is approaching. Maybe we'll put like a little lantern there. And I wanna put one here too, but I can't reach it yet. I will put one there in the morning. Ooh, I need to put a trap door here as well. Maybe we'll just do an oak one since we have one handy. And then I guess we're towering up to place this. Okay, hopefully we will be able to survive. I'm a little bit skeptical that we will, but Maybe all will be well. And we will be just fine. But we are just here for a little bit of wool. The most like untraditional way to get wool, I feel like. But whenever you don't have sheep nearby, you gotta do what you gotta do. And there's little coconut crabs over here. Do you see them? There's one right there. They're so cute. I love the little coconut crabs. Hello, pillagers. Hello, let me get, get you first, okay? Oh, oh yeah, I feel like I could be mistaken, but I feel like maybe these pillagers have more health. I don't know, again, I could be totally wrong. Oh, and there's another, like, a good place house. Oh, <laughs> look at the mini map. Literally, look. Maybe this is a terrible idea. Maybe we actually don't do this. Why are there so many? Oh, and there's, what are those? I can never remember the name of them. Maybe this is not a good idea. Hmm, I really need some wool. Actually, there's a sheep. But it's like, there's another sheep. But there's, okay, he already sees me. I think that we should, wait, these flowers are so pretty. I have to get them. I know, here, let me kill you first. And then I'll get those flowers. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we should actually go over there. I feel like we are not equipped for that yet. So, I don't really know. What do we do? How do we go about this? Um... Because I really, really would like to have a little cute seating area. Because here, let's look up couch. Couch. 
No, what is it called? Armchair? Mm, a chair? Maybe we can find it in here? Nope. Uh, what is it called? Seat? <laughs> no. What's another name for an armchair? Or a couch? I don't know. Armchair? Sofa. I think that's what it's called. Sofa. Yes. So we can make these and we need three pieces of wool or we can make these. Okay, three pieces of wool as well. I kind of like these better. The ones with like the wooden arms. But like we got to get wool. Maybe we'll find some sheep whenever we're getting those hydrangea bushes. So maybe we'll just do that instead. I guess that is our next plan. Though these little roses are so cute. And I definitely want to put some roses around in some of our pots. They're much better than these rose bushes, honestly, in my humble opinion. So maybe we'll put a rose here. And then, of course, we have to have a rose there. And that's probably good for now. I don't want to have all of my pots be roses. And then also, we can make sleeping bags. So that would be fantastic if we actually had wool, but we don't. So I'm just going to get my bed um, and maybe dump some things in this chest here. And we'll just go get those hydrangea bushes. So I don't need this. Don't need any of this. Um, frankly, I don't need like any of this stuff. Okay, that's probably good enough. And then we have wool, so that's good to go. We're good with that. Um, ooh, here's a glare right there oh he's kind of like stuck in her house hello claire what you doing okay uh where is this like hydrangea area was it here maybe but it also looks like it could be there so maybe we'll just keep on traveling and it'll just be over this way that's what i'm hoping for at least Maybe we'll find a sheep along the way, too. That would be pretty cool. Ooh, sweet berries. I love myself some sweet berries. I will definitely take a couple of those. I guess that's all there is. But I definitely want to take those for terraforming purposes. There's more over there, but five is fine. Oh, actually, there we go. That should be enough. So far, I'm not seeing any sheep, but we're still hoping that there will be sheep. I don't honestly remember where this biome was, because this is just another Coconino biome, and we need the Hydrangea biome. But before I go over there, I, I know I just took a break, but I actually have to go to the bathroom so bad, so... I'm gonna go and then I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Now looking for those hydrangea bushes again. I think that we should probably go across this river, honestly. I feel like the hydrangea bushes were, they were, oh, I, th I think I remember now. They were just kind of randomly in the middle of like a taiga, right? Like it was just like a random, I was like, this is the smallest biome ever. Yeah, I think they're like here. Maybe. Okay. Now I feel like I actually have a direction in which I'm going. So maybe I, maybe it'll be easier to go up over here. I feel like this is where I went down. What is this? Fluff is all? Fluff is all. That is what that is called. Apparently. Interesting. Um, I don't have a shovel. I probably just like threw it in a random chest. I am very unorganized right now. Ooh, there's a butterfly on the mini map. There are these guys, which those are so tough. They're zombie farmer villagers. And for some reason, they are literally so strong. It's nuts. And they run so fast. It's crazy. And they don't, like, burn up in the daytime. Um, they're just, like, really, really, really tough. 
Okay, I think I need to go... I just need to keep on going straight this way. I do believe... What is this tree? A Zell Kova log. Actually, that's a really cool kind of wood. Because it's like orange. I wish I would have noticed that before. Because, like, look at that. That is beautiful. I love that. Well, sad day. We've already built our house. But I really do like that kind of wood. Oh, it's within this biome. I mean, to be fair, it doesn't really look like much, does it? But it kind of is. It's really pretty. Okay. Now... We'll get all these hydrangea bushes. They're so cute. And then the actual hedges as well. I probably should have just grabbed them whenever I pass this biome. But that's okay. We're getting them now. I think that should be enough. I definitely want to plant them outside of our house too, not just in flower pots. Um, so that is the plan. I just love where we spawned. I mean, I guess where did we spawn? We spawned in the plains. I just love this area. I feel like sometimes like you can spawn in a place and then just like forever and ever, it's just like ugly biomes. But, I mean, so far, I'm really liking this world. I think it's a very cool world. I guess I can leave the seed down below. I will try my best to remember. If you all are interested in it um, and I forgot to leave it down below, then just remind me and I'll link it down below but and the coordinates are always in the top right corner of the screen so if you are wanting the coordinates of anything then you can always look there um but yeah definitely just let me know if you want the coordinates of it because i do think this is a really cool world i definitely think so and i've been thinking about for 1.20 do i want to just do a random seed and just explore the world or there's like seed videos that there's someone that's showcasing a bunch of really cool seeds. Do I want to do that? I'm not sure. There is something that's really, really cool about just having a random seed and exploring everything, figuring out where everything is yourself. And it just like feels very personal because you know that no one else is playing that seed. I mean, I guess there might be some people um, if you have shared the seed, but you know, it just like feels like your world, you know? Um, so I haven't really decided how I want to go about that. I guess the perks of doing um, a seed that you find in a video or something like that is you have an idea of where things are. See, there's that villager again. What is he doing? Oh, I guess he lives in this house. That's really cool. Um, anyways... Having a seed or finding a seed in a YouTube video is what I was trying to say. Um, wait, let's, okay, sorry. I need to, I'm focused on this plant and like putting these plants in flower pots and I'm distracted. Those are so cute. Okay, those are literally perfect. Love those. Perfect addition. I actually think I want to put the bush here. Oh, I just lost the flower pot. Okay, sad day. But anyways, the perks of having, finding, or like using a seed that's from a YouTube video is you, you know where like you're going to base. And sometimes those seed videos will show you like, oh, there's a taiga right here. There's this right here. Oh, look, a double spider skeleton spawner or like whatever. Um, it kind of gives you an idea of some cool features of the world. So it's not like you're discovering things yourself. So I don't know. I actually don't think I've ever really used a seed that I've seen in a video before. I don't know. I just really like random seeds. Okay, I cannot put the hedges in the flower pots. 
unfortunately, but that's okay. Okay, that's cool. We love this. What else do we need to do? Okay, exterior. I want to, um, I want to texture it with a bit of stripped oak logs. I need an ax. Did I ever make one? I can't remember. If I did, I'm not seeing one. Mm, well, I'll just make another. Or I guess my first one if I didn't make one. And then I guess I need some... Where did I get these hemlock planks? Probably from some kind of build, but I don't remember. Okay, I gotta get some more oak so that we can texture a little bit because I think that's going to make it look so much better. I just feel like texturing, texturing your builds is where it's at. Oh, there's another a good place house over there. It seems like there's always those a good place houses um, close to scary structures. Like there's another one over here by this windmill somewhere. Or maybe, oh no, over here. This is a good place house right by that pillager camp. I don't know. It's just funny how they're always around those. Then you can't even explore them. I see some sheep on the mini map. I forgot that I was going to do that. I kind of forgot for a little bit. Um, where did I see them? They are this way. They're here. I totally forgot that I was going to look for wool. I guess I better go over there, shouldn't I? I don't have my bed with me, but it'll be fine, right? Hello, sheep. Look at this little island with the little tree in it. It's so cute. And look at my house. I love it. It looks like a proper little house. I think it turned out really, really good. Okay, pillagers are close by, but I think all will be well. Ooh, maybe, maybe we should Dye the sheep and then shear them. I like brown. That's fun. I do like that. We have those like red bar soles. They just kind of came red with like the red seat. Maybe we should get a little bit of red dye and dye the sheep. And then we can just do red wool. Maybe we'll do that. We don't really have very many color options, so I think this will be fine. And then I'll just wait around and shear the sheep. I guess I can recolor this brown one, though I do like the brown wool. And then one more little white sheep over here. You are going to become a red sheep. There you go. And we should probably nom on some baked potatoes and just wait for them to regrow their wool. I do want some little rugs around. And then, of course, we need to make the armchairs. Um, ooh, and three red wool makes three sofas. That's a really good deal for sure. Not very expensive at all. I think it's the carpets that's going to be the most expensive, honestly. So, little sheep, if you could get to eating, that'd be great. I'll take this little piece of sugar cane, or giant piece of sugar cane, rather. And then they just give me one piece of wool. Sad day. I'll look at the map. This little area looks cute, doesn't it? This 
is a little pathway. That's interesting. I wonder where that goes to. I can't believe we, we've explored so much already. Just waiting on the sheep. I feel like I just need a few more pieces. We have 16 minus 3 for the sofas. That is... Okay, now 20 minus 3. 20 minus 3 is 17. We need an even number. Preferably. Oh, thank you so much. Let's see. Okay, 20. That will do. We'll go on back to home. It's so cute. And those oak trees are so cool. I think they look like, they just look really cool. And what is that? Is that dark oak? We've had dark oak this whole time and I had no idea. But are the leaves dark oak? Oh, they are. That means we could have gotten dark oak saplings this whole time. These are dark oak, dark oak trees. I had no idea. Well, that's okay. There's nothing we can do about it now, is there? But imagine the roof with this Zelkova plank. Wouldn't that be really cool? I think it would be. Okay. Focus. We are making... Um... We are making sofas. We want to make this red one. And we'll just see if three is enough. If it's not, then maybe I can make some more. But I just want to place them like that. Maybe. Hmm, I kind of wish I would have moved the ladder over a little bit, maybe. Yeah. Oh, wait. I have another idea. What if we place it along this wall? Well, I don't think that fixed my issue, actually. Um, I know the table's kind of in the way, but it's so cute, and I don't know if I really want to get rid of it. Okay, what if we did this? Just trying to figure out the best way to go about everything. What if we put the table here instead? Would that fix any issues at all? I mean, it's kind of better, right? I know it's not great. Okay, what about this? What if we put the, the couch there, like that, that's a little bit better, right? I know, I know it's not great, okay? But I feel like it's not bad. Um, I do want some like entryway rug. Or maybe we do it like this. Hmm. That's fine, right? Right? Maybe? Um, well, it's, it's a house and it's kind of cute. I do want to get lots of, um, lots of chests in here just because this is kind of going to be my means of storage. So I'll put some chests up here. I don't know if I'm really going to make it that cute, honestly, but... Chests are always nice. I guess I can like stack them like that. And is it nighttime yet? I feel like it's coming. I feel like nighttime is coming. This is going to look so bad. But I think I'm going to do it. I guess we could make like a red bed. And that would match a little bit better. I need to get some more lighting in here. That's for sure. So actually we'll go to sleep. We'll make some more lanterns. I do need to texture, like I said I was going to do. That is a must-have. I have to texture. So I guess I can go ahead and get started. I can start to do it up here. Like this. I 
and it's just gonna make it look so much better in my personal opinion I mean I feel like doing it from the inside is probably the way to go right maybe And I don't have unlimited wood, so I had to be a little bit sparing. Um, um, I guess we'll put another one here. I'm gonna put some more this way. Maybe I should have gotten more, but we'll just make do with what we have. Need some over here. And then let's look from the outside and kind of see. See where we can place them. Yeah, definitely should have gotten more, but it's coming together. Another one here somewhere. Um, maybe here. And then maybe one here. Okay. Definitely makes a little bit of a difference. Not the biggest difference because I don't have that many, but it helps. Uh, what else? What else do we add to it? I was saying something. Lanterns. That's what I was saying. So we'll just make a few. Definitely need some more lighting. Oh, I didn't put my little rose back. There we go. Now, maybe I'll put a lantern. I kind of want to put one up here. I think that would be cool. That. Just kind of out of the way a little bit. And honestly, it's probably lit up enough, I feel like. I think. Maybe we'll put like one here. That's cute. And then let me look upstairs. I think that we might need. Okay, no, actually, we have that one. I forgot about that one. Okay, what do we think? I definitely like it. It's simple. And I feel like there's still so much that we could do with it. I didn't even put like an oven or anything inside, but I do think it's really cute. I also think that we could texture the roof more, but I don't think I'm going to do that, honestly. I think it looks fine just as it is, though. I do think it could benefit from some texturing. I don't even have any spruce logs anymore, so uh, I kind of don't want to go through all of that and getting more spruce logs. I do, however, think that I want to do a little um, little pathway just for funsies. I know we don't really have anywhere for the pathway to go to, but it just looks so much better um, whenever you have a pathway. And also, I think I want to get some of this lush dirt and use that kind of as coarse dirt. So we'll just do this. Have the pathway going maybe to the garden. Our baby little garden. I don't even know if you could call it a garden, honestly, but it's kind of a garden, right? What is this? 
Like there's like little flowers. And it won't let me uh, make it out of path blocks. Interesting. It must be, maybe it's like something underneath it. I don't know. But we'll just sprinkle this lush dirt around. Okay, let's see what these, oh, maybe they were just like glitched or something? Like glitched little flowers? Seems kind of like what it was, right? Okay, see, look, that literally looks a thousand times better. Like pathways, for some reason, like your build does not look complete without a pathway. Like you have to have some kind of pathway, I swear. Because doesn't that just look so much better? I definitely think so. And then last but not least, I'm just going to use andesite for this. Probably should have put my baked potatoes away, right? Right? Okay, let's dump some of the stuff. Okay, that works. But this little like dirt thing bothers me. So we're just going to use andesite underneath it. There we go. It just bothers me. I, I have to do something with it. Okay, what do we think? And our little, like, garden? It look, It's flourishing. It's looking so good. But I think it's very humble. Very humble beginnings. But I definitely think that looks really, really good. Um, one thing that I just thought about is that we don't have any bushes around. And that's another thing that I just, like, have to do with my builds. I just... Think they look so much better if you have some kind of bushes around we do have the hydrangea hedges of course but some little oak bushes would be perfect i think so we will add some of those real fast i just have to okay perfect we can just share some of these that are just floating How many did we get? 25? Is 25 enough? Here's a few more. 30. That's enough, right? I feel like that should be plenty. Sorry, I'm not even going to use the bridge. I will just go this way. And then we'll also sprinkle around our sweet berry bushes too. We got them. Mine as well. I can't believe, I feel like I've been working on this build all day long. Um, and I guess I have been working on it for a while. But I feel like I've been working on it for a very, very long time. Typically, I plan builds in creative worlds. And I didn't plan this in a creative world. So I feel like that's one reason why it took a little bit longer than some of my other builds do. Because I was just kind of just doing it, just going for it. Because I feel like... Planning your builds definitely makes the process a lot faster. I kind of didn't do that. Okay, there we go. We'll put another little bush section here, I think. We can't block the can't block the flower, of course. Okay, what do we think? I think that's about it. I'll place it there. Okay, cool. It looks so good. I'm so happy with it. I hope that you all have had a fun time. Let me know if you would like to see another video within this world and I can make that happen. Uh, as of now, I'm just going to end it here and there won't be a second video, but you all are the boss. If you want a second video, then we will make that happen for sure. Uh, but I hope that you have enjoyed this. I have definitely enjoyed my time here doing this. I think that long plays are so much fun. Um, so... I think I'm going to leave you all here. So be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.